All right, Ben Manning, today is Monday. It's March 14th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Here we are, Snake Draft Monday. Uh, third time guest we have on today. Uh, first of this year. First in a while, I feel, actually. Uh, we have PFT commenter. PFT, welcome back to the show. Thank you. It's an honor to be back. I'm, I'm still searching for my first win, I think. Yes. I, the last one you did was Sandler, right? Yeah, it was a Sandler movie draft. And this one is... Like I, when you sent me the topic, I got a little bit nervous because there's just it's so wide open. It's really about who doesn't screw up this draft the most because it's it's going to be hard to pick movies that that don't look good. I agree. I think everyone. Well, you would think everyone was going to. You get, he looked at me and he's like, "Well, maybe not." You would think everyone's going to get some some top echelon movies, but the third, fourth, and fifth rounds feel like where it feels like where it's going to be one. It's usually where it goes mm -hmm. off the rails. For right? Me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Chief's so going to take a movie a substitute teacher played for him in sixth grade or something. It's like uh, one of those educational ones he really, he's really gonna enjoyed. Try to, I don't think <sighs> this I... This might be a controversial <laughs> pick. Yes. I don't think I was in the sixth grade in the 2000s. Oh, that's right. Too old for that. Oh. You were? Yeah. Also, we should note uh, White Sox Dave and Carl switch seats for the day because... The Illinois game is on. There's five minutes left, and you can't see the TV from No, And I feel Carl like C. a bitch because when Ed came in, Ed goes, hey, man, sorry, I didn't know Illinois was playing. And I didn't know Illinois was playing. At I knew they were playing at 1030, but meaning I didn't I didn't expect other people to know because the conference basketball tournaments are going. I look Ed in the eyes and go, don't worry. I'm not the type of guy who, like, cancels plans because he can't catch a game or, like, whatever. Games mm -hmm. are on all the time. Sure as shit, Illinois is down by two points, and there's that, a couple minutes left. That's and what I it am is. You utterly didn't, anxious. You didn't expect the game to be close. Well, I mean, they blew them up by 18 last time they played. It's yeah. a sports podcast. But, Ed, thank mm -hmm. you for accommodating the switch. White Sox, Dave, more importantly, thank you. And a PFT It's my pleasure. Players. This is one of those favors that I will be doing solely to get a favor in return later on down the road. So, I will be pa uh, back pocketing this favor that I just did. So, next time I ask for something, you, I but, want. A yes or no. Do you no know what it takes did. for you to ask me for something? For you to uh, come to me and be like, hey, yeah. uh, can you do I asked Chief for me? a lot of things. Yep. And he usually comes through. Dave Dave offered me a ride home the other day. And then, because his new place is over by me, I basically got kidnapped. He's like, oh, we're going to my place. I got to get my grill up on my deck. I, need to hand I, I swear to God, I <laughs> had no, no idea it was that bad. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not totally not, true. You did you not gave tell him a ride me. Home yes, and I you took did. him to do fucking chores. Yes. <laughs> you did not tell me that we were going to your house. You just offered me a ride home. That's said, not that's true. Yes, that it is, is. Absolutely not true. I don't mind doing it, but you did not tell me prior to me getting yes. in the car that like, we had you talked took about a left it. on Chicago. And I was like, where are we going? He's like, oh, well, my grill. All ten right. minutes. All right. Yeah, ten it minutes. only took ten minutes. But I had no idea the grill was like that, though. This grill's like the Titanic of grills. It, it was massive. It was, they delivered it on a fucking pallet. A pallet. Wait, oh, and so, just sat it there. So, Chief, did he did he take you to help pick up his grill because he needed another set of hands? Yeah. Was this like a oh, chore it, thing? It was definitely a two-man It was a two -man job. I thought, but I honestly I thought it. it was just going to be a box, like, so long I couldn't do it. N uh, not a not a weight thing, but I get there and they dropped it on a pallet in my in my driveway, and I was like, "Holy fuck!" It was it had to weigh three hundred at least three hundred pounds. It was it was a project. <laughs> it was a bit of a project. I, I apologize for that. I did not expect that. Hey, what's the first thing you're doing on that girl? What are you cooking up? I I was so I bought a porterhouse. Sausage. It was sixty bucks. I had to pivot to sausages because uh, baseball's back, and they are fucking amazing. Good there sausage. You go. That's good. That's very funny, though. Yeah. But I agree with Dave. The oblong boxes are the worst, you know, where it's like, I, I don't need your help, but I need your help because of the way it's shaped. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's tough. Yeah. yeah, it's awkward. It's mm -hmm. too awkward. Um, but yeah, good draft today. 2000s comedy movies, uh, 2000 to 2009. Obviously, I just want to state that. And um, No, go, be specific. So someone, what about, so anything 2010s off? 2010s off the board, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, which I think I, I specified mm -hmm. in the text, so you guys can't yell at me. Um, and then also PFT, you did the uh, the Jesus fight draft too. So that was also a classic <laughs> moment we had where you said it was the worst pick you've ever heard. <laughs> it's to this day, like you're <laughs> telling me you'd want yeah. to fight Jesus Christ, a dude who can. Turn yeah, I would kick the shit out of Jesus. Jesus listed is at five like, three. Are you oh, kidding cool. me? The guy eats PFT's like nothing but fish. listed at five three. Fish. He's skinny as hell. He's a he. He says, "Turn the other cheek." He would just let me continue to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Wouldn't even fight back. Bad pick, Dave. Bad pick. Um, 
Speaking of which, too, obviously, this was probably last week's draft. I should say congratulations to Ryan Whitney. He won the douchebag move draft. Probably the most yeah, heat, fuck him. Like post heat in a while. There's been over the the, the tall bike saga. Uh, PFT, you had a, a take about it. I was just interested in what you had to say. Yeah, I hate tall bike guy. I absolutely hate the tall bike guy. I thought it was a great pick by Eddie. And like, I'm serious. When I see the guy on the tall bike, I freak out because there's no reason for it. The only reason for somebody to be pedaling a tall bike is to be like, hey, look at me. I own a bike that's taller than most normal bikes. Aren't I cool? Hey, do you want to come take a picture of me and my tall bike? Oh, that's crazy. I've got a piece of paper that's taped to the side of my bike that has my Instagram handle on it, which is all about my tall bike. I fucking hate the tall bike guy. I thought it was a great pick. And I, I, I didn't expect all the slander that was going to be coming towards Eddie based off that pick. That should not have been a heated topic. I thought it was a great pick, although not it's not a broad pick, but it's an excellent, excellent pick. And I just thought that it was sad that you guys kind of all piled up. How many on times have you seen Thank these you tall PFT. bike guys? Hey, you live in Manhattan. You're probably close enough. I've seen tall bike guys. You look like a places. tall bike guy, pal. I'm not a tall bike well, guy. Well, you look like you, one. There's nothing about me that screams tall or bike or guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm none of the three. I used to live in Austin, Texas, which is probably uh, yeah. the tall bike guy capital right. of the entire universe. Um, they they grind my gears, man. Really you know what, what's weird about Austin is like when I, I my sister lived there for like six years, so I'd go down to visit. The homeless people like just roast you. You just walk down the street and they just roast you. So it's like they have this like. And I feel like tall bike guys and the, like they all just kind of in Austin. I feel like they're probably pretty prevalent. We'll say we'll keep Austin yeah, weird. Think, yeah, I think the tall bike guys are very friendly with the active homeless population. I think and so. Right, too. Or the homeless yeah. population there. They all have a thing, you know, like most cities, the homeless people are, you know, looking for shelter or they're hungry. They have a tent set up or something like that. But everybody in Austin has a thing that they do. They're like, oh, you're the homeless guy that has the dog with a cat that sits on its back all day, you know? <laughs> we've, we've got a lot of those. And the tall bike guy, I think, is like a just um, a distant cousin of that. But I thought it was a great pick by Eddie. Thank you, PFT. Um, you, you're, you're obviously here for the draft, but you're also here for, uh, you know, to make points that should have been hammered home. Have you ever called drafts. an icicle a sky glacier? I have, I've never Eddie heard was of that. Look, Eddie was looking that. for the word icicle in his brain couldn't just in the moment couldn't get there he called it a sky glacier so that's that's that's, that's your king over there sky glacier guy sky glacier well that's fine you know, listen they can't no one's perfect okay but I, I think you're kind of distracting and deflecting from the point that the tall bike guy is really fucking annoying thank you pft thank you again but like like we said we're here to talk about 2000s movies today so i'll keep it moving um the last time we did one of these a sandler draft was like one of the most good vibe drafts i think we've ever had we just fucking laughed about adam sandler for yeah. like an hour and a half so i think we're gonna get a little bit more of that today i'm excited for it yeah no it, it should be a good yeah. draft if if we have if there's rivalries or disputes or discrepancies that arise out of talking about co comedies from 2000 to 2009 this is the fucking group to do it there's one movie that i know will be drafted and drafted early that i can't wait to just fucking tear oh i like that i, I, I like that boy i can guess which actor is in it? Probably. Yeah, Probably. That's, that's true too. <laughs> See, that's that. Where, that's where PFT might be in trouble because he doesn't know the strategy around like. Because there's a there's a Dave core guy that White Sox fucked. Dave despises here. That's but. not true. That's not true. Yes, it um, is. Dave, do, Dave, do you have a list of guys that you hate? Yeah, it's made famous. <laughs> Your biggest enemies. Your is that now? Is that different from no, I, the guys that you're done with? Uh, the ban list isn't necessarily people I hate. Like I, I don't really like him, but I don't hate him. Chief to my right is on that ban list, so I don't. Yeah, I'm on it twice. He's on it twice. Uh, are you? But on that's it twice? what I'm saying. Like, is, is there a different list besides not the ban list, just like mortal enemies, like enemies that you have? Yeah, tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them about my list. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's it's a mental list, but I do have that list, and it's circulating. It is not too dissimilar to. Um, Steve Buscemi's list in uh, Billy Madison. Yeah. So it's just not physically there. Guys, you want to kill. Yeah, once you write it down, then it becomes a crime. You yeah. can think it all you want. Yeah, doc, I mean, this ain't George Orwell's 1984, is it, Ed? We can think crimes, we just can't do crimes. Is it? I don't know. I you don't tell know me. It it's it's starting to get there. Not, yeah, not yet. 
That's like the cannibal cop in New York. I don't know, another topic. Is for that me a, are we going to pivot into a dog walk interview now? What do we no, got? no, good documentary on HBO. If you never say it again, it, say that word again. The cannibal cop. Nope. Documentary. Yep, that's it. Good documentary. Thank you. Um, 2000s comedy movie draft. Let's do the order. Uh, PFT intern Lance has the uh, number one through five behind his back. What number is it? It's three. Oh, it's three. You're right. So you, one through five. Always three. What do you want? Um. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go one one. Wow, wow, one through four. Uh, wow, White Sox, Dave. Come on, Dave. Isn't it Carl's turn? Well, order of seats. Yeah. We're gonna go three. No. Chief. Two. No. One. No. Four. All right. Fuck. I I was not paying attention. Um. It's tough when that happens. It is. This is tough because uh, I don't like this. I don't know about you, Dave. I, like I might as well be in another city right it's, now. It's it's a weird feeling. This is, is it a not? very yes. uncomfortable situation. It is weird. Right What's yeah. the score well, of that you guys could switch back after the game. We can. Um, I'm going to go we're, with. We're going to have to bounce around, though. That wouldn't, it wouldn't work. No, we're going to have to switch. I'm going to pray PFT doesn't take what I want. I'm going to take number two. Caddyshack. Um, oh, okay. I am going to pick. One through three White Sox. Number three. Fuck you. One. Yeah. I'll take the third spot. One or two. All right. I'm good Carl. with that. One. I mean, you're, not, you're not even two. holding I'll anything behind your back. You. Carl, White Sox. Dave. All right. So the order is PFT, Eddie, Chief, Carl, White Sox. Dave, before we get going, Carl, please tell me about your favorite beer in the entire world. Well, I mean, it's obviously great tasting, less filling Miller Lite. It's 96 calories. It's brewed to be the most delicious Pilsner you're going to taste. And, and there's good reason, guys. It's because it's a fine American beer. Uh, I encourage everybody to celebrate responsibly. I'm, I'm sitting next to some people who do celebrate responsibly, but amidst some people who do not celebrate responsibly. I want everyone to celebrate responsibly. Listen to this podcast with Miller Lite all this weekend. No, I hopefully this past weekend. There's uh, nothing too big or small for Miller Lite, you know? It's, uh, Honestly, weddings. Yes. Black tie tuxedo, you see a guy standing there drinking the Miller Lite. You know that's the guy you want to talk to. Love that guy. Love that guy. I love that guy. It, you know, it could be deep. It could be insightful. It could be funny. It you could know be he doesn't joking. want to be there. He's, got the, he's yeah. got the napkin wrapped around the wet bottle, <laughs> yes. and the napkin has become in, in it's Part soaked. of the label now. And But the, the wedding logo is kind of fading off. And he's just crushing him. He's just one after the other. His old lady brought him to the wedding. He's having Miller Lite. He's feeling great about himself. Um, PFT, you like Miller Lite? I um, I don't know if I can contractually answer that question. Uh, because you they are have, contractually you know obligated to tell me it's the best beer of all time. <laughs> they've, got, they've got a great ownership group. I love the owner. I don't think that you can find a better ownership group out there. Than the Miller Lite ownership. Group. Yeah, you all, really are a steward of good, uh, of good uh, uh, leadership, corporate leadership in the beverage industries, and I appreciate you for bringing that up. We're all just part of the Molson Coors family. It's like you're our cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really are. is. We are like cousins. Yeah, the entire listen. It's a, it's a great family to be in. We're, we're dysfunctional sometimes, but you know what? We have the most fun. So we I, respect I each it. other. Uh, Miller Lite, great taste, 96 calories. Go to MillerLite.com forward slash redline to find the delivery options near you. Or you can pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Go get some Miller Lite. Enjoy the draft. Um, all right, PFT, out of the gate, who is the number one overall pick? All right, being totally honest with you guys, the second that I said I'll take the first overall pick, I realized I fucked up. I don't know why I said that. I This is one of those picks where I feel like I have to be forced into choosing what my first overall pick is going to be because there are so many that are right there up at the top. So I'm just going to say the name of a movie, and I'm going to hope that it works out for me. Um, I'm going to go right off the bat with Superbad. <sighs> yeah, fuck. I mean, going through lists of the 2000s, there are like fucking – Eight or nine that I think could have contended. So you weren't going to pick a bad one, in my opinion. Like immediately, yeah, right off the bat, um, it's, it's like it, 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 banger, it's the banger, banger. It's the, it's the golden age, I think, of of comedy movies. It's like the 60s of rock and roll. You know, Couldn't it's, it's tough to pick one. But I, I think I'm not, no one's going to get mad at me for taking super bad number one. I'm not going to be mad at myself for taking super bad number one. So I, I'm, I'm happy with that. 
all right, you know what? That was your offensive tackle, your left <laughs> tackle. You got the anchor down on the offensive line. Chief, your pick. Ed, your pick. Message board, Dave. <laughs> um, do you have a rebuttal for the yeah, White Sox? Yeah, uh, no, I think it's uh, fucking my dad took me to super bad, <laughs> but he fucking parked the car. You know, do, have you been to Kmart? Because they don't exist anymore. <laughs> So, but it was to buy a Walmart, and it was funny because when we would go to the Kmart, he would be like, I, I thought it was Walmart. These prices are all fucked up. So he's actually banned from Kmart because this one time. Anyway, so the cop shows up. Guy looks just like Bill Hader. Funniest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> all right. That was a good duel. That I enjoyed good. that. I can't laugh that hard. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. I'm kind of on the DL. He's a little bit on the DL. Yeah. I'm, that's my goal to make you fucking please. Pop hey, I'd like to, everyone, just, no, yeah. I want I want everyone to shit on me, and I feel like like I've been walking around my life with this fucking take, and I've like always hid behind it. Like I, super bad's okay. Really? Yeah. There, I will say this. There really? is. Cause I watched it. It was on TV like two weeks ago, it was Saturday morning, whatever it was. Um, there is a lull in the movie, and I know I was watching on TV, but the scene where they're at the party and he's like, oh, you're that kid. Sing sing the song. Yeah. There's like a 20, 30-minute stretch where it's just like dragging. The but, adults are really funny. Oh, no. No. So. That's one of my favorite scenes oh. when he's singing that song. It's that. It's not just the party. It's that. It's like guys. a little bit before and a little bit after, too. Are Wait. Crying. At, the, at the party, he's singing the song. It's very funny how awkward he is, and he does a great job kind of putting that emotion out there and letting you follow along and feel his his awkwardness. That's also where he gets grinded on by the girl who's having a period. Yeah. There's no lull there. And you That's know who the wipes the, the period movie. blood off him? I noticed this the other day, too. It's Clegg from Eastbound and Down. Oh, really? Yeah. He's in the movie for like 10 seconds, and Clegg and Eastbound and Down's like one of my favorite character. characters. What's your worst experience with period blood, Dave? I can't say I have any. Hmm. I can't say I have any. Not a real man, then. Yeah, yeah, that's fine by me, pussy. More than fine by me. <laughs> Dave, um, you got you red wings? Do not. Do not, and I probably never will. So super bad would have been my pick. There's nothing disgusting about the female body. It's a completely natural process. Oh, yes, process. there is. That's absolutely vile. I hate blood in general. These guys can even attest to that. Blood and spiders. Like well, no, he was going go to go like, to med school. You didn't hear that story? No. Dave took the MCAT. Swear to God, 1600. And this is not true. Swear on my all. life, he's got an uncle in podiatry. You can't see. You, do you want to see my uh, stitches? Not really. Why? That would really gross you out that much, blood? Uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, I mean, we gutted a fucking deer and I was puking. Yeah, it's true. He was just eating hearts and shit. Like, it would have cost. If someone said, here's. It would have been five grand, I bet, for me to take a bite of that deer heart, and he just did it all willy nilly. Did anybody see Superman in theaters? Did you? I did not actually. Yeah, I didn't. I yeah. snuck in. Oh, you snuck it was in? My first movie I snuck into. There we go. That's a that's a memorable. That's moment. what's kind of beautiful about it. Though. You can. It's a movie that was great in theaters. Don't get me wrong, but you can watch it on the small screen, and I don't think you lose that much from it. Right. Right. Yeah. What, so do you have any reasoning why you think it's just okay? So, like, I just, I thought it was, like, pretty funny. And then, it, it like, we'll get into the show. There's, like, other ones that came out, like, around the exact same time. And yeah. I was like, I don't know. I, I feel like those are the best. So ones. this would have been my 1-1 one, one for sure. This was the one I was hoping slid to me. Um, but it's also a good draft to be in the 4-5 or five slot. There's mm-hmm. a lot of options here. What that movie's done, like, like there's, like, dude, there's, ver- like, Glansberging. Like, yeah. that's from yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Like, that's culturally relevant in 2022. You so know? I, I saw You don't that know what Glansberg means? I don't know what Steven Glansberg. Yeah, he's sitting alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if like if you're going like dude like you never had a buddy been like dude I just had to Glansberg at fucking mm-hmm. Subway. Like it just means like you had to eat alone. Oh, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Prefer that. Um yeah, I used to do that all the time when I'd be on like work trips and be like, yeah, you guys are going out. I I got I went meeting somebody and I would just go sit in the bar by myself. Mm-hmm. Um but I would say this movie came out when I had already left high school. And I, when I saw it the first time, I was like, eh, okay. And then when I went back and saw it, like maybe 10 years later, I was like, you know, that movie's really fucking good. So I, I think right. that, I think if you, have you seen it recently? I haven't, I, I haven't watched the movie in 10 years. I think you should go back, give it another shot. Because it, it like to. really grew on me when I saw it like years and years later. Hey, can mm-hmm. I get some, pro- I, I've, this takes courage because I am going to get shit on. 
People are gonna be like, Ooh, oh, no, yeah. that it takes a lot of courage. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I get agree. shit on. You I agree. say you, I mean, you, it takes no, courage to draft tall bikes. No, but here's the thing: you didn't shit on it. You just basically were like, "Hey, you don't get the uh, the hoopla." It's fine. The hoopla. Mm -hmm. um, I get the hoopla though. I love it. I was in high school, so whatever. Uh, great pick. What year did it come out? Two thousand, I think. Okay. Yeah, I would have Hold been on. freshman or senior. In high yeah, two thousand seven. Yeah. All right, it's to me. Um. I think there's a lot of heavy hitters in the first round. I'm going to go with one that came out later than that. I'm going to go with one that's the same thing. Like, jokes still rain from it. I'm going to go with the hangover. Yep. Um, that, that last scene, too, the picture scene. That's the funniest part of the movie. It's unbelievable, <laughs> man. When Zach Galifianakis is getting sucked off by the stripper in the elevator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just it was unbelievable. Like <laughs> the whole thing's just the Stu is holding the the tooth with the pliers. Yes. And he's just got the big grin in his face. It just it looks like he got in a fight with a bear. Yes, Ken Jong hopping yep. out of the fucking trunk <laughs> naked. Like, yeah. There's just so many so moments. many shocking moments. You know why I love that funny. scene, Ed? Why? Because in the background you can see Hooters Hotel and Casino. Oh nice. Yep. There you and go. I was like, I was there like a year ago. There you go. That's that's good. Um I don't know. Is there any cons on, on The Hangover? I don't Anybody think there's a anything? single one. No. They hangover. made two more, and they both I, sucked horrifically. I never saw the other ones. Oh, I saw they, that no, one in an empty I theater, the which I would rather have just not seen it. So I I, I, really? I, I know. I actually – Hangover is very funny. I'm not shitting on it. But the first time I saw it, I don't think I laughed at all. I went with my buddies. Like, yo, we got to go see this movie. It's supposed to come Dude, out. Dude, I saw it in theaters. We were in Champaign, actually, Illinois, on like a Friday. We went to like the 1 o'clock. Completely empty. It was really? me, him. I think his girlfriend showed up. I just had a dip in the whole time. Someone confirm it came out June 2nd of 2009. Oh, I believe wow. that. I think it came out in 2009, yeah. No, June 2nd was the exact date because I remember what I was doing that day. Um, I got a weird memory like this. What but the fuck, Dave? The, um, You're right. It was June 2nd. June 2nd, 2009, right? <laughs> you Dude, I, I was about to say 2011, but I was. I saw it in theaters with a bunch of friends from college, and I was like getting an ab workout from laughing. I thought it was the funniest movie I've ever seen. Yeah, theaters. in theaters, that's yeah. one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, too. I agree with you. PFT, hangover yeah. guy? I remember. Yeah, I, I remember it was June 2nd, 2009. Uh, because I was in Austin, Texas, and we went out to go see it at the Alamo Draft House, the original Alamo Draft House uh -huh. on Sixth Street. Our plan for the night was let's keep it low key. Let's go out, see a movie, go home. The movie was so funny that we were like, we have to go out and party after this. It put you in a party <laughs> mood just watching it. We have to try like, to. It felt like I was this. at a free game the entire time. It was yeah. it was a magical evening too. Yeah, no, you're you're right. It was fucking unbelievable. Just a. Uh, the tiger, the fucking just the, that sweet, like what the fuck some, happened, piecing it together. It was a, it's an unbelievable movie. Some asshole uh, was telling me he was DMing me the other day, telling me to quit telling stories about my dad. I'm gonna tell a story about my dad. My dad randomly <laughs> saw it by himself in theaters, and he's like, he he would text me, like try to attempt to text me. They he'd butcher the spelling and everything. Um, lines from the movie it's like his favorite comedy oh really yeah that makes me happy that yeah. i have william williams one a comedy though those two picks would have gone never if, stop yeah. telling william williams stories by the way no i'm never going please to. never we i told him i'm going to tell him more just in spite of yeah him. please we can do without some of the other stories but william williams is always on the table always on the table yeah. what do you mean so many i'm just kidding i thought I'm just all kidding. of them were in place He's busting his balls um i'm happy to get the hangover too I yeah eddie that was going to be my other choice it same was, yeah was it Okay, good. So it yeah. seems like a up for me between super bad and and the hangover. Yeah, when, yeah, good, good, good pick. And also, when you look at Halloween costumes to this very day, going Alan. as Zach Galifianakis for for uh, David? Halloween. Right. Did, you, did, did did Big Cat tell you to say that? No, no. Right, you just you just like played the chord on the guitar that is like White Sox Dave's favorite like the, fucking the, Halloween costume. The, the, the snake he's so that in pops tune up right out now. of the basket in like Saudi yeah. Arabia. <laughs> White Sox Dave's been that, yeah. <laughs> you, you've been Wait. that multiple times. Oh right? yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Let the beard grow out. Wait, wait. Get to <laughs> Baby blue shirt. You got <laughs> no, it is it every October 31st. It is that or it is 15 that or, years. Or a leprechaun. Or a leprechaun. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. No, I think you can do it once, but you can do it either one time or you have to do it every year. But you can't do it like every other year. <laughs> I, I'd mix it up. Oh, it's either that or, or actually in the last handful of years, now that I'm older, I've gone as Ditko because it's like the easiest fucking thing ever. Hey, what's up with that snake hopping onto that basket? 
<laughs> when they play the flute and oh, it's yeah, like yeah. uh what made Pavlov's you, dog, it just automatically right, hears like, the music. And that's a country of origin? Saudi Arabia? I mean, it's like I was Middle just, East somewhere. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> Middle <isn't> East <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Middle Hangover. East. Hangover. Happy to have it. Uh, Chief, you're up. Uh, all right. uh, those are my top two picks. Uh, so I'm kind I think of be- we're all in agreement there. Yeah, so I think I'm between three now. I'm going to take old school. Yeah, um, that would have been third I think overall. those are the top three, yeah. Yeah, so I think that was like the peak of of in my opinion of, of Will Ferrell I think it was the peak of Vince Vaughn um, I don't think we ever saw what's his face the lead character again um, like I like fell off the face of the earth who, um, who, the what's who his plays. name Luke Wilson Luke, Luke Wilson yeah. yeah I feel like he just disappeared he's a Wilson brother yeah yeah he's but he like shit yeah but he used to like, like a bald one he's like in everything yeah but he was like a kind of a leading comedy guy and now mm-hmm. i feel like he just he's not had, funny though he hasn't done a movie in forever so you, would you want to keep doing shit <sighs> like aren't you trying to retire like tomorrow no i would i think i'll i'll always do something yeah you one of those losers i, I am, get bored i'm ron livingston in old or uh office space where i would just sit on the couch and click and click and click mm-hmm. until the day I die. Yeah. I'd be totally content with that. Um, I like that, Dave. But, yeah, and you have, like, you know, the, the moments with uh, with the old guy, Blue. You have, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's just, it's like a, you know, earmuff. There's so many, like, little things that still get quoted. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, I'll do one. I'll do one. Like, there's just a million of those. He little, go do one. Yeah. He go do one. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, kind of same thing uh, as PFT was saying with the hangover. Like, you watch that. Like as like we would put it on for like pregame we're in the dorms in college and just like have it on yeah. in the background and just be drinking and having a good time, and uh, and yeah I think I think old school is definitely a first round pick. Oh, 100%. it wasn't in my top two, but I think it's a good third overall. So I I'm looking up what one. Luke Wilson's done since then. It turns out he's done a lot of stuff, but just nothing that you've ever heard of or seen. Makes sense. Like he stays busy working on stuff, but I don't. I don't really recognize any of the stuff that he's been in, but he's very, very busy. Good for him. Yeah, he is. Oh wow, yeah, he's in. He's in a good amount of. I mean, 2019, he did four movies. I don't know how big they were, but or how big his role was. He's um, a good straight man, though. Good yeah, to bounce jokes off of. He is for sure. Uh, I don't know how this is one of these movies that just kind of slipped by me for some reason. Really? But I've seen every part of it to not, to see the movie. Oh, that's but, oh, dude, that. and I know it's awesome. I'm not. This is not like a con mm-hmm. or anything. So that's an indictment on me, if anything. A lot of people say it's our generation's Animal House. Yeah, I would and, say and, that yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, and I, like I said, I know Frank the Tank. I know enough. Will mm-hmm. Palooza here for the Gang Bang. Like, I know yep. so much about it. To like but fucking like, dart in his neck, dude. Yeah, like there's <laughs> yeah, so many cameo. things. Yeah, but it's uh, just like Sean William Scott's cameos. <laughs> fuck, he yanks it. He's like, shut up <laughs> to the donkey. You, you shut up when I'm. You shut up. <laughs> it's great. And it's not even like it's an age thing take because wh- take what out. You got a fucking dart in your neck, man. I have older movies on my board that I really like, but no, old school is great pick. You know who? You know who's a fucking cameo on that? The boyfriend who's feeling up the waitress. That's the guy who used to be at ESPN. I thought it was. Oh, uh, you're right. Fucking you're right. Craig. Uh, who is it? Craig Kilborn. Yeah, Craig Kilborn is in it. Yeah, he, and that's actually the perfect role for him. Just like a giant douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, old school off the board. Carl, you're up. Um, I'll take my number one. I'd take my number one comedy from the era. I'm taking Wedding Crashers. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, that, I think I was at the right age. I was going to be a freshman in college. I went and told my brother, full theater, Friday night. Um, amazing. 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 Probably my best in theater experience ever. It was such a good in theater experience laughing so hard. And like, you know, the th- it's just like, it's so hard to recreate these. I yeah. don't even like a, a good comedy can come out, but it's like all look at the draw because if you go and you see it with people and the, the fucking place is up for grabs and people are laughing, you know, there's a couple of drinks, just a significantly better environment. That's what I was trying to bring up with Hangover. Still a phenomenal movie, but yeah, like yeah, I yeah. just I was tainted mm-hmm. at the complete opposite with Wedding Crashers, and it starts the fucking opening scene with shout and the tits on the bed yeah. and just like. She's like, that's not even my name, you know. Yeah. Like, like she just gets up and walks away. You see an ass and a thigh. You're like, ooh, this is a nice yeah. little movie here. So I was debating taking that one too, and mostly because it's been on the top of my mind. Because Dave and I went to the Blackhawks game on Tuesday, and there was a hat trick. So I ripped the hat off his head and threw it down towards the ice. 
and his hair looked like the brother. Like his hair uh, looked Todd. Exactly, exactly like Todd. Yes. He what is that yeah, situation, yeah, yeah. Dad? He will, he will yeah. paint you. <laughs> yeah. Would you be painted by Todd? I would love to have Todd to paint me. That's yeah, fine. That painting was a gift, Todd. It's but also like, it's yeah, coming with me. I mean, the fucking motorboat built yeah. for speed or comfort. The it's whole all, scene at the house. It's a little long. The movie goes a little long. Yeah, it's also a movie where you get older and like you even you appreciate it even more after you go to a couple weddings. You yeah, know? definitely. Like you're like, oh, this yep. is this is very. Funny. I'm. I walked around as a young adult man, like being like, well, that's how they do it, wedding crashers. Like I, I feel like I was a part, like our generation, maybe not you guys, mm-hmm. but at least, like it was a, it was such an influential movie, and more than just like yeah, the quotes because you laugh and joke around it, but it was like, it was like yeah, you know, I have one, to fuck those chicks. I have one negative <laughs> about it, bitch. is that I feel like people who are douchebags will have like in their Twitter bio all rule, rule seventy six. Do uh, this. Yeah. yeah, no excuses, play like a champion. Yeah. But that was a great line, though. He's like, I, was, I wasn't making excuses. My ankle was sore. He's like, you, you were in the corner crying. He's like, I twisted my ankle dancing. Yeah. Like, that's, and cameo wise, uh, Will Ferrell's cameo in that. Oh, it yeah. is unbelievable. See, all time best Here's cameo. A, we should draft cameos. That's a good cameo. Yeah. Everybody cameo. shits on me. I, I don't like Will Ferrell when he's the lead. Mm-hmm. Old school and wedding crashers. Fucking perfect, mm-hmm. and I love him to death in those roles. But when he's fucking the lead, a Not lot of those you. movies fucking <sighs> suck. I think. I mean, working working chicks over at a fucking funeral is just he's, it's just like <laughs> that, like I such a dark <laughs> fucked up level of comedy. You know, so he's good, sitting though. there like giving the. I could see you doing that exact. No, same I, thing. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> stoop. I would stoop to many lows, <laughs> not that low. It's like death is the ultimate words. aphrodisiac. That entire that entire scene was just ad libbed by Wolf. So you would decline sex from a uh, a woman at a funeral? It depends what she looks like. Uh huh. You would not. Dave, it also depends uh, how the person died. I think. Yeah. Hang gliding accident. I don't think we're talking about the dead ex. body. I think we're talking about somebody at the funeral. <laughs> yeah. No. I know. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. That's, but also oh, that I thought you meant. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's not gonna fuck a mangled dead body. That's, but that's if they good, suffocate, then we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, yeah, car accident, probably not. Old age, who knows? But I, I think what Chief said is actually uh, an interesting point because especially in this era of 2000s comedies, there are a lot of douchebags that just take lines from movies, any of these movies, I'm sure, and would put those in like a Twitter bio or back when I was mm-hmm. that age, like an, an AOL instant messenger bio or an away message, that sort yeah. of thing. And there are a lot of people that I think um, – people think are funny because they're really good at quoting lines from movies at the correct places and conversations when that's like, that's not really being funny. That's just regurgitating what some, some other funny person has said at some point in the past. But um, yeah, with, with wedding crashers, I like it too, because it's, it's representation for Washington DC. There's not a lot of movies set in Washington DC, unless it's like a spy thriller where it's a Jack Ryan movie. This Mm -hmm. is like the one, comedy that sticks out that that was set in part of the country so i appreciate that two interesting things obviously i think i feel the same way about chicago movies so i appreciate your home cooking on that too you know what's funny about what you said too pft is like you know how many guys in 2016 or 2017 completely got their humor from part of my take oh that's a good point oh wow yeah probably a lot it's like yeah that's 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 fair um so and i don't I'm really not- have a rebuttal to that thank you that's actually a compliment. No, it's, it's a huge yeah, compliment yeah, to you guys. Well, professionally, it's, like it's a huge compliment, college. but culturally, he you're, he has stained the sense of humor on a large group of people. A thousand percent you have. But you would agree, right? Well, yeah, people coming up to me and being like, hey, suck my dick when I'm with my mom, you know? <laughs> and I have to be like, hey, we're, I know it's a joke. We don't say that anymore, especially around people's moms. Uh, it's like... It, it, the reason why I say I apologize because I think back to like 2003, 2004 when I was in college and um, the Chappelle show was everywhere. And just you'd walk across campus campus and people would just start screaming like, what, what? Doing like okay. the little John. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. got annoying yeah. after a while. Yeah. But no, I part of my that like that had such a huge like like I said that was a compliment like Dave yeah, said yeah. Mm-hmm. like washing apples and shit okay. like that there were so many kids that definitely got there like I had friends who basically used their whole humor off that it was crazy crazy time 
Um, that is that is kind of weird to think about that. <laughs> For sure, I, I bet it would. Um, master, my last thing about Wedding Crashers, um, Vince Vaughn was masterful. That was yeah. his like, best role, I think. His cadence, delivery, and then like even I mean him and Wilson. I don't know if they get enough credit for a tandem like they just played off each other perfectly really well yep like his fucking yeah. weird voice it was master and i think it, it worked song, so well that i think they tried to recreate it like didn't they have like an intern movie that was kind oh, of oh yeah flopped? yeah the like, intern no yeah. I, that, that's an enjoyable movie well, that was in the 2000s that's so a tip pick just, yeah sorry uh, you know yeah so i know who's who's no, taking it who's taking it it's a warning who's taking it maybe maybe carl carl likes some weird movies uh um, Would you consider Wedding Crashers to be a romantic comedy? Is it a rom com? Definitely. Yes. Definitely. I was waiting for the rom com distinction to come up. It's definitely. Yeah, it but is. That for sure. Doesn't. For sure it is. Yeah. I was trying to think water it down I, in see, any way. I, I don't think. I wouldn't consider it a rom com. I think it's more of a straight comedy. When I think of rom com, I think of like Matthew McConaughey, How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days, that that sort of thing. That's this true. was like too raunchy, I think. So this is com rom. Also, when it started. That's probably yeah, more it's appropriate. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a good point because we'll do rom com someday, and I feel like I wouldn't agree with it being picked in a rom com draft. So that's actually no. A I, I would absolutely. It's dude. They fall in love at the end. I know. No. I'm no, not. The there's a lot of good points, but I feel like off. it would. Uh, the spirit of that draft would not be. I don't know, whatever. Two uh, two couples fall in love. Yeah. Yeah. White Sox. Did I love the little redhead, by the way. Oh Did yeah. She's Isla, Isla Fisher. I yeah. agree. Oh, smoke. She's but, married. Um, she's like before we get it's to get Dave so horny, and he's not she's gonna make married to uh, someone. The fucking Jeff Gordon, Sasha Baron Cohen. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, Sasha yes, Baron yes, Cohen. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Tip pick number two. Please don't do that. I is real name. You're up, Dave. To me, yeah. I am going with a movie. It was my old school until recently. I I was it was so people give you shit if you say you haven't seen a movie. Mm -hmm. And everybody has that one movie that the entire world has seen other than you. Yep. For me, Reese, until uh, about a year ago, it was Shrek. It was one of the fucking best movies I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, are you taking Shrek right now? <laughs> How? Shrek. <laughs> How can I not take Shrek? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Shrek? <laughs> because it's a cartoon? Carl just walked it's out of the room if you're listening. Did, I, I can't tell if that's because of the basketball game or not. What is wrong with Shrek? <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty sure you could have gotten Shrek in, like, if this was the old school NFL <laughs> It is draft, one of the greatest like movies of all rounds. time. It's the Probably best, like, animated comedy rounds. ever. Go. It's laugh-out-loud funny. It's perfect <laughs> when you're a kid. Oh and then as you get older, there's all these little subtle adult themes. It's it's a It's got a star-studded cast, an unbelievable soundtrack. It is one of the best movies of all time. It's a fucking comedy. If you're arguing it's not a comedy, you are high off your ball sack. Okay. I think it's just about value for me, Dave. It's not a bad movie. I, it's. I just think that you could have gotten. Dude, it. if you, I I haven't like done two days, it. If draft spent three days, you could have gotten it. At if the, it could have been Mister Irrelevant. You're fucking crazy. You're out of your mind. Uh, it wasn't on my board. On if, this board. Was a hun <laughs> if this was a seventy-five pick draft, you'd probably get it. That's that's outrageous. For what reason? Though? Shrek's great. Don't get me wrong. Shrek's Shrek a really a good movie. It's a perfect movie. It's a perfect movie. I just didn't see this coming. Like just based off of like what you think of like 2000s comedies. It's mm -hmm. not to say that you're wrong in many ways. If I'm being like completely honest here, not just to shit on you. It is very funny. That I would took bet. Shrek, though. I would bet. And I'll actually make a wager. I'll bet each of you $100 that out of the four movies it's uh, drafted so far that Shrek's got the highest Rotten Tomatoes on it. Oh, I mean, sure, but that's because animated, like, people yeah. eat that shit up, dude. It's, I don't, there's nothing to nitpick about that movie. It was a fucking perfect movie. It's the best animated movie I've ever seen. You know what? I'll take that bet, Dave. I'll, All right, so $100. I'll take that bet. 100 biscuits because we're not allowed to illegally wager. All right, so here, here we go. 100 biscuits. Good call, Dave. Way to be smart. 88 on Rotten Tomatoes. The Hangover has a 79. Okay, so it beat that. Let's check Super Bad. Uh, Super Bad has 87, so just oh. narrowly beat it out. Uh, Wedding oh. Crashers, let's see, 75, no. and then last is gonna have to be old school. Old school is gonna have to beat an 88, which it probably won't. No, um, Dave, Dave's right. Yeah, 60. percent So he owes you. Uh, well, I, I can't understand how biscuits. anybody on it's planet Earth. Well, Carl just walked back in. Please explain your reaction. I mean, I just said. 
I don't want to be here for the argument. I know that there's going to be a reaction. It's going to say what uh, this is. What my I'm mind is legitimately blown. This. Like I've made picks before. Where I was like, "Fuck, that was a bad pick." Immediately, mm -hmm. I cannot believe that anybody has a single bad word to say about that movie. No one does, Dave. It's a great movie. It's there in the third round for you. It's there in the what? fourth round for you. It's there in the fifth round for you. What? It, it's a comedy from the 2000 to 2009. I know when you liked it, and it's your first round pick of the draft. And Mulet, you guys are insane. The I'm way not, you presented it was very funny too. Just be like, I've never seen this one. It was that movie <laughs> for me. And then it's like, I'm gonna take this green well, fucking ogre, and that's the. Guy. What does it matter if it's a green ogre or dudes crashing know, weddings just or like, getting drunk in Vegas? Funny's funny's funny. It just agree. happened to be a green ogre, and like I said, I mean the sound. You add the soundtrack to the comedy. You add the cast. You, you got a perfect antagonist in Lord Farquhar or whatever his name is. Yeah. <laughs> he is a – it's a fucking perfect movie. Tom, it, you seem like you have an opinion on this. No, no, I'm just – it's like uh, – it, it's not an argument about whether it's a, whether it's a bad movie or anything it's against it. Movie. There's like – there's so many other classics. That yeah, are, yeah, yeah. Of course there are. Of, I, yeah. That's what I said. I, I just mean – and it's just funny that like your breakdown is coming from like your present day mind, and there's no nostalgia there, value. Yeah, that's uh, that you watched too. it as a kid. I, I like, wish I there have, were that nostalgia value. Very but good point. There's so many that adult just things. Just makes it in funny it. you're breaking down the villain of Lord Farquhar like as a grown adult in his thirties, not yeah. like oh I remember seeing it as a kid a very in the movies. Good point. <laughs> like that just makes it I, very funny. I, I I that's a part of my childhood. I wish I could take back as seeing Shrek as a ten year old. Or like whatever. for you, Shrek, you always think of Shrek as like. White Sox Dave in his thirties, not as, like little but, White Sox Dave. I mean, you watch. There's some movies you watch that <laughs> like no nostalgia factor. It's no. Just like, I just genuinely enjoy this movie as an adult. Do you not enjoy? I, it? It's actually one of those I've never. I haven't seen it. You? Oh, oh really? I've seen like pieces oh, okay. of it, Shrek's but I've good. never. Shrek's I'm good. sure it is. It's yeah. It's a fucking perfect. I know movie. Eddie Murphy's the donkey and yeah. Yeah. What were yeah, you gonna say at PFT? Yeah, the fucking one of the I greatest would, well, comedians of all times in it. No one's no one's yucking your yum. Dave, I think everybody thinks that it's a good movie, that it's very funny. I think we're just criticizing value here. More yes, than we're yeah. criticizing the pick itself. And it's interesting when you look at Shrek, because I think it is almost a perfect movie. It's a very good movie. Um, and you go back and you wonder what would it have been like if it was cast as it was originally supposed to be, yep. which was Chris Farley as yep. Shrek. Oh, oh, yeah. And Forgot then he about passed that. Yep. away. Mike Myers, I think, you can't do better than him in that role. I think he was perfect in that role. But what would that movie? It's like one of those sliding doors moments. What would it have been like? Mm -hmm. And also, I'm, I'm curious about uh, like where you were in your life when you saw Shrek. Is there any attachment? Did you see it with somebody that no. you cared about? Or is there any sort of I forget thing that's like the making exact... it really personal to you? No, this is what it was. Um, I was... I don't want to say arguing, but I, I was having a back and forth with Rear Admiral on Twitter, and he was ripping on me for never seeing Shrek. I'm like, dude, I mean, Ed, you've never seen, uh, it was Die Hard, I think, right? Have you seen Die Hard? I have seen Die Hard, yeah. Um, yeah but there was some movie. Yeah, everyone has. I, everybody has that wrong. one movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Ed, you have more than anybody. No, that's not true. But I just my, get so that. I watched it that night, and even as a... I mean, this is probably about a year a ago. I've seen it another time or two since then, and I watched the sequel last night randomly but um <laughs> oh, it's fresh in his mind we, we just got the that's the crux of this i that's, that's the crux not, of this he just watched shrek too he's got Ed, green fiona in his mind it is a perfect movie like there's not one bad part about that shrek. movie and it's a comedy i don't understand how you can say it's a bad pick. i feel like we got to make like davy shrek shirts now right. or something like that i didn't We're, know you're such a big shrek guy i left the shrek pick did Illinois win? They lost. I came back Good. in and thanks, dude. I don't you'll you just took Shrek. So we're fine. <laughs> Everything's I, fine. I love Shrek. I and I know, know I know the people listening will be on my side on this one. Okay. All right. Well, this is gonna be here we go. Shrek is gonna be the polarizing pick of the draft. Ken also, Jack's gonna love this. Yeah. Um We'll see too, because this is where it gets hostile too. Like I feel like now you're going to be hostile to other people because they were towards hostile towards you. Not so necessarily. We'll All right, I'll speak um, frankly and from the heart. To Shrek Five overall, 2000s comedy movie draft. Uh, Dave, you're up again. Now this is the coin flip for me. <laughs> These two, and I think you all know what two I'm probably talking about right here. Shrek Two. Shrek no, two. <laughs> no, that. I, I can promise you, no one has a fucking clue. What you're talking about. <laughs> That's incorrect. I think they came out the same year. A lot of the same cast. I am gonna go with Forty Year Old Virgin. 
Yeah. Only yeah. because the scene, and it's maybe five seconds long, where they lock him in the like glass room, and they're playing porn, and he's like, bang, I don't want to be in here. Out. It's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. And that's like a personal thing for me. Um, I know that's not going to be anybody else's favorite part of the movie. For me, that's my favorite part of the movie, and it puts it just a hair above the other one that everybody's thinking about. And you know which one I'm thinking about now, and none of you are going to argue it. I mean, obviously. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, whatever it is, you took Shrek out of these. Shrek is a better movie than everything on this board so far. <laughs> Dave, you know what I would have done if I were you? It's a good this, soundtrack. This might just be about like the, the marketing and the visualization. I would have taken 40-Year-Old Virgin 1 and then Shrek 2 just for the graphic on the go-around so it doesn't show your first round pick. See, yeah. Trout. so Mike Trout was drafted. So the Angels technically passed on Mike Trout. They drafted Randall Gritchick one pick ahead of him. Yeah, now, he's, like now he's, you know that guy's name because he's now a trivia question as being like one nah, of the he's worst He's actually not bad, but yes. I, I get your point, so but like I, I like I said. Old Virgin, I think, is a very good movie. And if you're doing a, a cameo draft, I think that Kevin Hart's cameo in that movie is outstanding. It's very I think that's like the first national exposure that Kevin Hart had when he's getting in that debate in the store. Um, very funny. I like that pick. Good pick, Dave. And it's very, very It's a relatable. very good pick. It's a very good pick, Dave. I relate to you, too. A weird, funny part of that movie. For some reason, I just think it's the funniest thing that he just carries the fucking wheel of his bike around. Yeah, shit like, like that. That yeah, small, like, little... Subtle, like, yeah. he just has the wheel. Dude, like, that always made me laugh. Dude, the... the What's the black guy's name in the movie? David? I think it's David, actually. Um, <laughs> he He's like, now look around. You got to use your peripherals. And he's like, what do you see? He's like, I see a... I think it's a ficus. And he's like, if you're making a joke, dog... It ain't funny. And he's like dead serious. It's and when they're in the bar and he's like, I need some poon. And he's just shit face high and mm -hmm. I love that movie. It's a great movie. It's a great pick, Dave. It's uh Yeah, it's a great pick. Forty I'm <laughs> Can we get the truck left out real quick? Uh, there's nothing to laugh at. That was and I and, and I you see this is the thing about those who listen to this. They fucking follow the leader so much. They are they such do. I agree. I agree. That is a thing. But I think, aside from that, I think the way it was built up and like the non nostalgia, like there is humor behind the Shrek pick. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a guy who's going to DM Dave, <laughs> and he's going to be like, "Dude, Shrek, here's the true story about Shrek," and he's going <laughs> to tell Dave some fucking random obscure thing that's going to frame Shrek in a more positive light. And Dave's going to come in here on Monday or Tuesday and be like. I fucking told you. I got people telling me yeah, on the internet. You're right. Absolutely. It'll take that one guy, one just message, that one, one little tip. egg, that little egg account with a yep. bunch of thirty numbers following the name. It'll have. It'll have everyone else over here. It'll be Dave and this other guy, and that's the beauty of Dave. Dave will fight you evenly. Oh yeah. He'll go fuck. Uh, he's uh, see, he's you if called he me an one, argument guy. No, if he has one, this person is one of the arguments I will never fucking back down from. That was a perfect pick for number five. So number track. five overall, fifth best comedy in the 2000s, Shrek. I mean, Rotten Tomatoes, we mm -hmm. just kind of sort of not proved it because everyone has okay. that objective. But right. to say that that's a bad pick is like proven by numbers that it's not. All right. Um, I guess we'll hear from the people. Uh, Carl, you're up. Shrek 2. I'm taking <laughs> Step Brothers. Um, yeah. I'm taking John C. Riley. I'm taking Will Ferrell. I'm taking just a great ball. Nuts on the drum set uh, or uh, nut sack on the drum kit. What, what, how much do we need to talk about Step Brothers? I mean, Crasher Step Brothers is fucking a deadly nice, one a too. Nice too. Yeah, a very nice one too. Um, because I do have I do and, and they there's other stuff I don't want to spoil, but you know, it's hard to talk about these because you just have like ensembles and casts running around. It's hard to compare them to their their contemporaries. I think this is the funniest covered. Will Ferrell movie, in my opinion, where he's the lead. Yes, I do. I, I would do. probably agree with that. <laughs> Even though I don't you think it's You hate Step Brothers. I don't think it's it. It's the best of when he's a lead. And if if you guys try to draft these other movies, I'm just going to rip into you for ripping John C. Riley went to my high school. That's why you drafted and it. We knew I, we was, get to it. Uh, I was a sophomore or junior. He came, he came and spoke to the, uh, the theater mm -hmm. club. He, he and I was not in the theater club, but my buddy and I were like, we'll go. We'll listen to John C. Riley. He was so fucking serious. This is 2003. So this is before he broke out when he was talking mm -hmm. to us. His demeanor, you're like, oh, this is the guy in Boogie Nights. And, uh, you know, like, yeah, this is, I, 
I think he did this Perfect is Storm. He, was like, he did yeah, he was starting uh, to get Gangs big. of New York. So you, yeah. yes, he was starting to get big, but and not for comedy. My buddy was like really into fucking films. So he's like, we gotta go see John C. Riley. Like I thought, it, I thought, oh my gosh, it'd be great. Alum back. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was still cool to hear him talk. He, when I say so serious about acting and the methodology and why he and where he studied fine arts, I was like, okay, we have nothing in common. I'm pretty sure it was DePaul. <laughs> I, I think they oh, named. He's, yeah. I think they named the scholarship. Yeah, no, he studied DePaul. He doesn't do much with arts. Yeah. He's very into that. I've heard he's like man. a world class good guy. Yeah. Well, he's Southside with the brother Ice. I mean, Great singer too. Hmm. He can shred a guitar. Not shred, but he can. Like in other movies when he's playing guitar, like they fake it usually. He's actually playing. Is it. he the ugliest guy in Hollywood that gets he's like regular pretty play without ugly. having like? So it's not like he's like missing an arm or something. Like you know, he's he's fully stocked. He's just ugly. He's, he's super fucking ugly. David Hyde Pierce is that the guy's name? David Hyde. I gotta look him up. I don't know. Who you know is. what I appreciate about that though? Oh, are you talking about? Oh, that guy's really fucking ugly too. Oh yeah, that you, guy and uh, what's the guy's name from? Uh, why can't I remember his name? He's uh. He's in Fargo. He's in um, uh, that Showtime. I think it's a Showtime series. Oh, William H. Macy. Detroit alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. William H. Macy, yeah. William H. Macy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He just popped up on something I had on HBO this week. Is it William H. Macy or just William Macy? Is I it think it's William H. Always has the H. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't you? Is that where the F comes from? The what? Never mind, that was a bad And PFT. The, uh, Come on. Oh. The ugliest guy I've ever seen, a real quick tangent. I didn't know his name. I just looked it up. It's Clint Howard. He's the guy who gives that little speech in Waterboy to the window. He's like, I am not what you would call a hand. He's like the ugliest oh, yeah. human I've ever seen. He's in a, a movie called The Ice Cream Man where he plays a murderous ice cream man. It's pretty good. No, that pretty sounds terrible. right up your Ron Howard's brother. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's Ron now Howard's Now that you brother. mention it, they kind of look, he looks like a very ugly version yeah. Of Ron Howard. But can I, hold on. Can I give you a, a fact on that? Actually, I listened to him on Simmons' podcast one time, uh, John C. Riley. His thing is, like, he just, like, thinks it's bullshit that people, like, don't like to age. He's like, when did aging become uncool? Why can't you just get fucking old, start looking old, and, like, dress old? Like, why do I have to, like, all the Hollywood hit people just, like, do all these surgeries, and they, like, just try to get young? Is like, what's what? when did aging become uncool? So I appreciate that about him. I, yeah, own. I do. I mean, are you aging? No, I I'm am. just saying. Like, it was just an interesting take that I had never heard mm-hmm. from someone in Hollywood. When it's just all about, hey, we gotta keep the same. Uh, I'm okay. But sorry, Step Brothers is great. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't know how we got so far away from stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know how much there's like we talk about. Um, like, this is a golden era for comedy. Obviously, Step Brothers will never be made again. The idea of like it just it just you can't. Yeah. That was like the last remaining frontier of like of really aggressive humor we'll just say it like i that. i i i'll give it a six eight it was fine a couple parts where i laughed but i i like it what did you give a rating on shrek nine four nine four shrek, mm. shrek um stepbrothers running crashers good one too and i think it starts to taper off a little bit so it's going to be interesting it does uh-huh so. i think i think this is the the taper spot because you're up chief um I will take I will take Anchorman. So I'm ready for like I almost didn't take it just cuz I didn't want to hear fucking Shrek over here shitting on it cuz he hates Will Ferrell and he hates all Will Ferrell movies. That's not true. Uh it is true. That's like big part of your like online persona is no, hating Will Ferrell. It's not true. I I've never one time said I hate Will Ferrell. I said I don't like I think objectively a handful of his movies where he's like the lead character suck not kind of funny mm-hmm. not pretty funny not funny they suck i like anchorman i've seen it maybe probably more than any of the other movies that are on this part of it is because i used to work for the, it was this and 40 year old virgin where i used to work for a company where we do like wine tours in michigan we'd pack like 50 people into a coach bus and then put on a movie on the way there and it was always one of these two movies so i've seen it maybe 10,000 times it feels like but i think it's a great movie uh, quotable, big time, you know, big time cast, and uh, you know, same same thing. I have like a weird thing going on in my ears. You yeah, know? I told him I, we got we could beat that in post, right, Tom? Yeah, it can get fixed in post. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, All no right. problem. Um, but yeah, I I think I think that this little time frame with Will Ferrell, I think Wedding Crashers came out in 05. I think Anchorman was 04. Old school was around that same time, and then he got so popular that to Dave's point that they just 
said, hey, put Will Ferrell in a movie and figure the rest out later. And I So think, you agree with me? Yeah, but I think that – but you think that – you probably think Anchorman is bad and these other I don't movies. think it's bad. Okay. Why, don't you, I think it's why don't you tell me why you like Anchorman and less so much about how White Sox Dave is going to shit on it? I did tell you. I did tell you. Okay. Yeah. So it's very, very that? quotable. Another one of those movies that was like, you know, I think it, I think it did come out in 04. So it was definitely a part of like that pregame experience similar to old school where we would just have it on as background noise because we had DVDs and I just, uh, that was, it's just, a, it's to me like that is like a very quotable, very good movie, great cast, very funny. And uh, does it banger cast great cast, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, was that the first thing What's Her Face was in since like uh, Married to Ch- or yeah, Married to Children? Christina Applegate, Applegate, yeah, yeah. What other 2000s comedies was she in, Dave? I don't know, I that's all I remember her from. I mean, prior yeah. 20 years earlier, she PFT was, anchor, anchor man guy, yeah. I, listen, Anchor Man is a great movie, I think it's been sullied over the years because a lot of people who aren't funny, really, really, really love Anchorman. Mm. And so for me, you have to distinguish between the film itself and then the people that sometimes are annoying with how much they like it. And there's nothing more painful than seeing somebody on Sports Center yes. quoting Anchorman, like a, a, a medium funny line from Anchorman as they're doing a highlight and then laughing about it. That to me, like it's hard to not let that detract from the movie itself. Do you want to just but call Trey Wingo out by funny. name? Yeah, I'm dancing around. I actually DM <laughs> Trey to get some of his advice for picks in, in this draft because, like, this is this is right in his wheelhouse. He's mm-hmm. still a couple years away from making Step Brothers references, I think. But Anchorman is <laughs> is very much his thing. It, the the only bad part about Anchorman, well, there there's a couple. Um, I don't like how there are certain times in the movie where it seems like they're writing a line of dialogue that's just like completely random, just so that people will quote it later. Like comedy that doesn't have anything to do with the actual scene that's mm-hmm. happening. Um, it, it seems like they could kind of go out of their way to be like, okay, we need another joke on this page. Here's a joke. Yeah. Um, some, sometimes it doesn't flow uh, as well as some other movies, but I still think it's a very, very funny movie. Did, did anybody here ever know about or see the first cut of the movie? No. So they made a full movie and like turned it into the studio and it was such like a disaster that they made them like remake it and do it again. Really? Like all the same characters, all the same actors. And then they're just like, nah, like the script, this whole, like, I think they tried to improv like the whole thing. And it just like, it has like, I've, it, they put it in like the DVD case at one point. So I, like, I had it and it was, had like funny moments, but it was like, Jesus Christ, like, mm-hmm. this is an abomination. Um, I don't like Steve Carell's character from Anchorman. I don't like, I don't like Brick. I don't think that Brick is that's his name, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The guy that's Tamblin. like I love Lamp. I don't yeah. think it I don't think it lands. I, I I think that there are other parts of the movie that are funnier and they keep like bringing him back just to say random things. And uh, yeah, especially like in in a rewatch, it doesn't really it doesn't land as much as it did even mm-hmm. when I was watching it the first time. But um the character Ron Burgundy I think is one of the all-time great characters. I just don't like how Will Ferrell is now doing like the Ron Burgundy podcast in character as Ron Burgundy. I think that actually cheapens from how good the movie was originally. Yeah, no, I hear you. Not an anchor band guy, but I respect the pick. Okay. Um, what? Uh, all right, it's to me. It's just tough. I'm between two right now. One I think might get back to me, but it's just uh, it's tough. It's tough. It's a tough draft. Yeah. One I got to take because I think it's the most criminally underrated movie. Like maybe, I mean, maybe, I mean, you guys might not agree. You might think it's properly rated, but uh, I'm going to go with Meet the Parents. Oh, that was definitely yeah. on my list. I thought I was, I was sensing an American Pie sequel, but. No. Um, well, everybody's just naming picks, huh? I mean, is uh, that, is, are those seriously eligible? You're going to take American Pie 3 you could if back you want. to Paris or whatever? If you want. You are, Chief? To. I'm mean, too. Two. Uh, you just made a face like I like I offended you. Well, tipping picks, yeah. Uh, Meet the parents is unbelievable. Owen Wilson is hilarious. Uh, the dad, Jesus Fokker, like just an all time, all time, all time bad Great situation movie. to be in when you're at you know a new girlfriend's house or fiance, whatever they were. And uh, Jinxy Cat, Robert De Niro is fucking unbelievable. Um, it's 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 so slept on in the pantheon of like it, it just. The whole movie is just unbelievable. It's also one of those movies that, like, 
everybody relates to. So like I could sit down and watch some of these movies with like my parents maybe, and they'd be like, this movie, I don't get it. Yeah. Everybody like spans gen- generations. Everybody loves Meet the Parents. Yeah. Because everybody's been there. There's there's just a, a great comedy device in general, I think is, is executed to its best in that movie, which is a normal person finds himself in what should be a normal situation and because of just like a series of misunderstandings that just keep piling on top of each other, he looks like the idiot and he keeps trying to prove to everybody that he's normal. I think everybody has like been in a situation like that before where they're just like constantly playing catch up, trying to fix what the last mistake was, where it was really sometimes not even their fault that it happened. I think it's a very funny comedy device and having it go throughout the entire movie, I think it's perfect and it's, it's a great cast. Um, that was the first time where I really saw uh, Ben Stiller as being like, okay, this is a dude that's not just going to be like a uh, comedian all the time. He's got some acting chops to him. Yeah. I thought he did a great job. In it. Mm-hmm. The brother who smokes weed. Like there's just, there's so many good aspects of that movie, but I got to give the uh, like Owen Wilson is so, and I forget blanking on the guy's name. I, he's, he, he died unfortunately, but he was unbelievable. The uncle, the, the guy who's just like, that's oh, a yeah. big shot. Yeah. You know, in the pool, the pool volleyball game. Yo, he's the Jesus Fokker guy. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Fokker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that guy's dead His name is Uncle J- Greg? James Reborn. Dr. Larry. Dr. Larry Banks. He's incredible. Secretary of Defense of yeah. Independence, Independence Day. Independence Day, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's dead. You can't fire me. Um, yeah, James Reborn. Unbelievable role. I love the fuck out of that movie. Jesus song. Fuck. I'm happy to get it, even though people, if people may think it's a reach, I had to have it on my. Board. I don't think it is a reach. I think that's no. a very good movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, PFT, you're up. Okay. Um, my second pick, I'm going to take Borat. Okay. Borat is a movie that I saw in theaters, and I don't think I've ever laughed as much in a single movie as I did in 2003. I think. Dave, do you have the exact date? It was 2003, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've never laughed out loud in a, in a movie theater as much as I have in that movie. Just hysterical from from start to finish. It was, it's a completely different style of movie than what we've seen before. Kind of the mockumentary style, but more of a narrative. Um, just very, very funny. Uh, I'd watched the Ali G show for years. Leading I up loved to it. So there was a big was anticipation yep. for me to see Borat make his big screen debut. And it did not disappoint. It also had that kind of air of like I don't know, is this, is this real? Do people in the scene know what's happening around them? Is this all just like guerrilla filmmaking? It was kind of like Jackass really in that regard, a little bit. Yes, yes, it was. There's a few jokes in that I, like would not fly in 2022. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh, I'm Bad sure ones. a lot of these movies there is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Borat's great. It was such like like. You don't like Borat? What? No, I hate the way you say you say it to get attention like that. What are you talking about? Borat. Borat. Sorry, I didn't say it the way you wanted me to say. No, it. I thought you do. The I'm not trying wait, to get wait. attention. <laughs> you do. You said Borat. Borat. Yeah. Well, yeah. what do you mean? Borat. Say? No, I know. Borat. Like every now and then, you're like throwing a little well, that's, wrinkle. That's, that's not a joke. I swear to God, I, that's, I've always said it like that. Okay. Um, it was like the shocking humor, like you know, it was very funny. Yeah, it's I, I love it. It. It, was, I, it was satirical too. It like, yep, it made a lot of it made a lot of interesting points about what America is like behind the scenes sometimes. And if you watch the more the more recent uh, Sasha Baron Cohen movies, I feel like they kind of hit you over the head with it a little bit, and they like prove some points that you kind of already know, but it seems like just piling on at this point. Uh, but when when Borat came out, it was uh, it was a very different environment. I thought that they did a good job of like. Of balancing laugh out loud humor with also doing a little bit of uh, like more of the biting satire stuff too. Borat, good pick. Borat, good pick. You're the, up uh, again. the um, there's dicks in that, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely dicks in that movie. What's uh? What's your my the, wife? <laughs> yeah, my wife. The third, the third round. <laughs> you could kick us off, PFT. Okay, so um, this might be controversial, but Dave just alluded to it. I think Jackass counts as a comedy movie. Absolutely. I think so. I think that's very draftable. You okay. don't think so? Does anybody? All right, so I'm, I'm taking Jackass. 
No, I don't have a veto. It's, see, this is like, this is, if you shit on Shrek, you gotta shit on Jackass, because at its core, it's a comedy. But that's not, that's not like the theme of the movies we're drafting. I guess. Nobody was shitting I love on it. Shrek I think it's a, that, that would have been my next funny. pick 100%. We're just shitting on it because you took it in the first round. Yeah, I think that's it. So then. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take a jackass one one. We just have different tastes and humor. Then I think it's absolutely fucking hilarious movie. So jackass, I think is a is a close second to Borat for the most that I've laughed out loud in a movie theater in my entire life. Just groundbreaking stuff. It was like it's the dumbest movie of all time, while still being kind of very smart in a way. And I've, I've said this, um, I think I said this when we did our, our recap of the latest Jackass movie, but you could take Jackass the movie and you could play it for anybody in any culture, any civilization, in the history of mankind, and they would love it just as much as I do. And that's that's like impossible to do, to like bring everybody. You could go play it for ISIS. ISIS could watch <laughs> Jackass and they'd be like, Yo, you should have taken it in the first round. That's a very good point. Can we, yeah. we Miller that's Light's one of our point. advertisers, right? Yes. <laughs> the scene with the guy with the no. long fingernails when they pour the he goes, eat some middle time in his Indian accent and Steve was like ah, ah. it's I'm sorry. It's just one of the funniest movies of all time. Yeah, it's very, it would have been my next pick. Good. The only problem I have with it is that I I can't really distinguish it against like the show. Like I couldn't tell you like No, the it's the same exact thing. I couldn't tell you like the specific bits they did to make it like more memorable than any has anybody show. seen the new one? Isn't that out now? Yeah, PFT's seen it. I haven't seen it yet. I saw it. It's very funny. I mean, it's it's more of the same. Yeah. And um, they've got a couple new guys that they introduced who I think are pretty funny. It's just, you're going to go see it and you're going to love it. You're going to have a great time. I, I don't think that those guys are capable of putting out a movie that's a flop. Oh, yeah. I agree. want to give a quick shout out to Steve-O. Turned his life around big time. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. It's nice. Portnoy hates Jackass. I was like stunned. It was like shitting on it. That was side note. It's not really for me. No? Nah. No. Um, Jackass the movie is off the board. So that's the one you want, right? I'm sure there was many, but Jackass the movie came out in 2002. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's the one that I, I want the original. The other ones are good too, but that They're was all the great, one yeah. that, that kicked mm -hmm. it off. All right. It's to me. I, this one kind of slid, and I'm wondering why now. So, but I, Knocked Up. Like, yeah. Knocked I, Up was great. Like, doing the dice roll thing too many times like knocked up was really good when it came out like it was right there with all these with 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 40 year old virgin oh, yeah. you love that movie Super i Bad, fucking love that movie with the hang like, it was right there like all those movies were like synonymous with they each other so back to back to back to back to i think pft said it that was like the golden era of comedies it was yeah. like twice a year you just got hit in the face with a fucking Hilarious movie. How about this, Dave? Eighty nine percent of Rotten Tomatoes is better Ooh. than Shrek. There we go. Hey, I think wow. it's. I mean, it's. It's. I. For one reason that I I fucking hate when Will Ferrell's the lead. It's because he's a character that doesn't exist in real life. Like Forty Year Old Virgin and and Knocked Up. Like those are are super super relatable movies because it's uh, we all have those friends in yeah. our real life. And like when he's walking around the bookstore with. Uh, uh, what's the brother like his future brother-in-law's name whatever it is and he's like she's carrying around my bastard child it's just like shit like that i love and just like just that group getting mm -hmm. you know knocking not, such yeah. a fucking yeah. bunch of bums knocking up some they're all in the yeah, hospital yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah he's like, gonna rear your child <laughs> it's so fucking yeah. funny dude um yeah you like knocked up pft i love knocked up yeah yeah. It, those are all like the Judd Apatow movies, right? That, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that dude went on a hot streak. Oh man, what a hot streak! Streets. I don't think anybody's the f no the one's Ferrelli been better brothers. at their job than Judd Apatow was from the year like 2002 to 2012. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. Heater. So I would argue you the had Ferrelli him on, right? And that's it. Yeah, we had Apatow on. Yeah. It was it was at like the start of the pandemic, I think, where he was coming on via Zoom. And you know how those interviews go. They're sometimes. not nearly like as good. Yeah, it's tougher. I wish that we had them in person. It would have been great. But unless you unless you have a pre existing relationship with a person, it's tough to get that good back and forth going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I would love to have him back on. But yeah, just an incredibly funny dude. And yeah, some of the movies were formulaic. But guess what? The formula works. Why would you ever stray away from it? Yeah, no, for sure. So I'm happy to get it. I was like kind of like it was weird that it was there for me. 
Um, Chief, you're up. I feel like I, I might get ripped on for this, but Mean Girls is fucking hilarious. Oh, I dude, love Mean anyone? Girls. I don't know. I feel like I feel like this is like I get I get self conscious now because you Not guys every time I say something it's like all oh, barata, but. Mean Girls is fucking hilarious. So I again another great cast. Rachel McAdams has popped up on this list twice now. Um, and what? <laughs> well, I mean, it's like she, you know, comedies two thousands. We're going to talk about Rachel McAdams. Yeah. I mean, that's she's a funny still, move. She's still out there. Oh, Tina Fey. Listen, Tina she's, Fey. Rachel McAdams. I, I is love perfect. Tina Fey. I, I think Rachel McAdams is perfect. Yeah, I think Tina Fey is the funniest woman who ever lived. I think she I, is. She, I love. Were Tina you Fey. a color person? What? Just like woman. Yeah, funniest woman who ever lived. Yeah, number one. No, dude, Mean Girls is awesome. Yeah, Mean Girls is great. Like, so there's so many good aspects to Mean Chief Girls. And I saw it in the theater with one of my closest friends. We went. We had a mandate. We saw Mean Girls. We were sixteen. See years that old. that's that movie's so good. It, it it like throw out the the chick flick factor. That, like, there's not a single guy but who doesn't love. You that know movie. what is funny about it though? To uh, PFT's point about people who weren't funny just use that as thing. That was big girls thing. Like they would use the, uh, like they would basically just quote. They would use that. Mean, their anchor yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like it, trying you know, to think of an example for that. Like though. on Wednesday so we wear pink. Stop that's so fetch. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. that turned into that definitely turned into a thing. Yeah. So credit to Mean Girls for although it. Anytime somebody makes a reference of like I'm not like other moms, I'm the cool mom. Yeah. That's still funny to me. Like the 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 character of the cool mom, I don't think had ever really been explored in comedy before, and they picked the perfect person, Amy Poehler. Yeah, I also thought Tim Meadows in uh, he as was the great. principal oh, was yeah. awesome. hilarious. Awesome. I, can't I did not this. leave the south side for this. <laughs> yeah, the like so you guys went to Catholic schools, awesome. all all male schools. I used to get shit on from my friends in college who we when we would call it all boys, it's all male. Is that a thing? No, uh, all whatever. Boys. All boys. Um, but I went to the most stereotypical suburbia high school ever, and Mean Girls to me, because of nostalgia, it was like it was a perfect representation of everything I grew up with. Like the clicks in in the lunchroom, it was it just perfectly, perfectly satirized. Is that a word? PFT satirized, satirized, perfectly yes, satirized yeah. it for me. That's a word. It's great. There's there's so many elements that's funny about it. So I think it's a great pick. Carl, you're up. Zoolander. I I think this is better meet the parents. I think Zoolander's great. It's just awesome. I mean, and it, it I love up. Will Ferrell in that movie. It's completely different to Mugatu. like that. Yeah. I think there's some element that should be get respect on the list. It's not just like some guy who's trying to fuck some girl or like, you know, a guy goes to meet a parent or like it this is a weird thing. This is it's a very the opening scene, or within the first five minutes, when the guys all set themselves on fire at the gas station, a kind of tragic for a gasoline loop. fight. Yeah, um, blue steel that holds up, I guess. Ferrari, but blue I like, steel. I, I'm like a. I would consider myself a fan of Owen Wilson without like really follow. I don't know what his next project or last project or any of that shit is, but like if Owen Wilson's in the movie, I instantly am drawn to it, just a little bit more. You didn't see the Jennifer uh, Lopez movie that came out this month. Did you? No. Do you have your movie pass still? Uh, I, I have something like that, yeah. And but does, she, does this movie qualify? I'm just saying because, no, it looked like the worst movie ever. He's a fan at a Jennifer Lopez concert, and he has a sign that says, Marry Me, and she marries him. Yeah. I might leave again. Maybe it's Woof. good. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Um, it's called Marry Me. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Um, so Zoolander, Zoolander, I like Zoolander. I like um, Mugatu is a great bad guy. The, uh, PFT, I feel like you would not like Zoolander. I feel like you would you would say that movie is below you. Wow, Carl, I think we need to have a little a little discussion. There's, there seemed to be a little animosity behind. It. I no, I love Zoolander. <laughs> Why would you think I don't? No, like I just thought that would be a randomly weird, mean thing to say to you. But uh, no, yeah, it was it's, very mean. Yeah, Zool Zoolander's good. Zoolander's good. I, the, what I loved about Zoolander, especially when it came out. Like, those guys hadn't really been on the big screen before. It felt like Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Will Ferrell in a comedy. It felt like it came out of nowhere and just hit you in the face because it was just so funny. I didn't have any expectation going into it for it being as funny as it was. It would kind of, like, announce that whole crew as, like, okay, this is going to be our decade of comedy that we're about to dominate. Mm -hmm. um, it was a great movie. Start to finish. Love it. David Duchovny great cameo in I was going to say the whole, that too when Owen I forgot about that yeah about, like, yeah yeah the 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 uh, hand model guy mm -hmm. that's a very funny like almost Random. like a 
Smoking Man X Files type character, ironically, that David Duchovny became in that movie. But um, yeah, the uh, the spider bug, spider monkey pe- peyote bathing story that Owen Wilson told. That whole scene is just like so fucking funny. I love that movie. Zoolander off the board. White Sox, Dave. I got two. <laughs> so you guys may notice I'm in my computer just completely is fried. Oh, we noticed. It, no, it, the it's, listeners it's, can hear it. It's dead. Um, What's going, Tom, what, can you give him direction so everything's fine? It, too much movement? Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's I just got to get, if get rid of the computer oh, at this stop. point. Manhandle, yeah. Do it by phone. What, what um, am I doing wrong? Don't touch the mic. There's a cord under you got to avoid. Oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. It's my left foot. It happens to me every day. There you go. There you go. All right. Sorry about that, audience. I'm going with my third pick for getting Sarah Marshall. Yep. It's fine. That's gonna. That, that's that. That has. There's like a Sarah Marshall cult. Like you'll. There's a lot of diehards. See, Sarah I don't Marshall. absolutely love the movie. I don't like the first round picks. Like they're a pantheon above forgetting. But Sarah Marshall is a completely. Like if it's on TV, I'm absolutely watching it. So you think it's a very rewatchable movie? Great rewatchability, mm. great rewatchability. Mm. Uh, Mila Kunis, obviously, smoke. Um, I like Kristen Bell too. Kristen Bell's She's funny, great in that movie, mm-hmm. great in that movie. And uh, what's the lead's name? Uh, Real Jason life name? Siegel? Jason Siegel. He's, yeah. I like him a lot. He's. I, I think like him a that's lot. by far and away his best role. I like him. He's good. Yeah. There's another one I have in mind, but he's very good in that. You don't like it. You don't seem like. I think it's okay. I'm not in there that crowd. That's there's like, that oh, crowd there's of like, big... oh, I'm the forgetting Sarah Marshall crowd. Yeah. I'm I'm not in. I'm not against that crowd. I just know that crowd exists, and I'm like not in it. Yeah, yeah. It's good, good movie though. Third rounder, like that's that's definitely worthy right there, David. I would say. Good premise though. Breakup, bad breakup. Yeah. Like, well, then the guy's trying to you know go through his shit. Mm-hmm. What else we got, Dave? Unless uh, it's PFT, sorry. Forgetting Sarah Marshall? I was just going to say it's a, a genius move by the filmmakers. Anytime somebody sets a, a movie on a tropical island, I always take my hat off out of respect because it's like <laughs> that that guy knew what he was doing. We're going to get a paid a vacation for four months <laughs> and just go hang out at the beach. That that actually makes me laugh. That reminds me of there was they talked about rediscovering America and someone said they might go to Hawaii. And I saw you respond to the person saying, I would definitely go to Hawaii. And I wanted to comment, be like, yeah, no shit, Dave. <laughs> well, I talked to Nick yesterday, he fucking randomly. He's like, all right, uh, well, I don't want to give shit away. Yeah. But um, no shit, you go to Hawaii. Next couple of Rediscovering Americas will be in, well, one of them will be in a very remote location. And I'm mm-hmm. very excited. Um, I, uh, I keep trying to convince Big Cat and Hank to do with the next Grit Week, either like the Amalfi Coast. Monaco, <laughs> south of France. Like, let's get real great. Let's go to Monaco for the Grand Prix. Like, the richest country in the entire world. Just hang out on the Mediterranean for a week. That's it. That'd be the move. It's a grind. <laughs> uh, next one, White Sox, Dave. And this one is near and dear to my nostalgia heart. I When I first saw this movie, I would have been 12 years old. I'm going to su- Super Troopers. Oh, that was my next yeah. pick. The opening five minutes are the best five minutes of any uh, movie we've drafted so far uh, where they fake the car chase and they scare the shit out of the guy. Do you boys like Mexico? Mm. It's perfect movie. Perfect fucking comedy. awesome movie. Just such a fucking awesome movie. Did, wasn't they, did they remake it or they did a sequel? It was so bad. It was so bad. Don't touch that movie. Especially those guys aren't like super talented or anything. You can't. Well, they've, they, they've made they, like, a couple. Yeah. They're like a troop. I think that's what they call them. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're a troop. Wow, yeah. What's they, the, there's one that yeah, might be drafted. Lizard. Yeah, broken, broken lizard. lizard. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's broken lizard. Um, and like beer fest was great. Yeah, yeah. I was giving away picks. Beer, cra- beer. It wasn't even close to super troopers though, but it was funny. It was fine. And then they had, yeah, they had a, they had a bunch of broken lizard movies that were made. At least a couple, I should say. But super troopers was the king of the castle, though. In my uh, opinion. Out, yeah, by far and away, by far and away. Um, I like how the, the the head, the sergeant, was Brian Cox, Logan Roy from Succession. So they got like a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hitter, bona fide superstar. Wow. I think they spent all their budget just getting him to be in the movie. I never put that was right when he was out. playing the uh, he was also the um, the deep state guy for the Bourne movies at the same time. He yep. was doing uh, that movie. Farva, He's a great yeah. actor. You get a leader of coal for a cop. <laughs> the, 
the fuck does that? And mean? then the uh, the like <laughs> don't spit in it. The Indian guy was the taxi driver in the terrorist scene in Jackass to like bring it was all he? together. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the, that uh, they're fucking with what's his face Ryan? What's his name? Ryan Dunn. It wasn't Dunn. It was the other guy. Whatever. But uh, yeah, Super Troopers. Love the pick, Dave. I love the pick. Very underrated. Um, I'd say Carl. It's perfectly yeah, rated. it's probably rated yeah. well. Everybody Sorry. loves it, but yeah. no one's always no one you're puts right. it on like the old school. You're right. Yeah. Carl, you're up again. Um, I will take. Uh, I'm gonna take Tropic Thunder. I'm gonna take Jack Black and Ben Stiller. I'm gonna take uh, when he's like tied to the tree. Are you gonna take Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, I will, uh, yeah, I'm taking Robert Downey Jr. too, Dave. I know exactly what you're trying to do to me. All right, it's a funny movie. Uh, yeah, it's a funny movie. When he's tied to the That's tree and he's like, "I'll suck your dick." I will literally do anything. Please, on time. He's like, and then he starts vividly telling him the type of blowjob he's gonna give. He's like, I, I will, I will cradle your balls. I will, I will stroke the shaft, and I will swallow the gravy. <laughs> and it's just like classic. Jack, it's just Jack Black. Jack Black being awesome. Jack Black, and then obviously Ben Stiller. Tom Cruise. I don't. Is that a cameo? He's in it consistently, yeah. start to finish. I feel like Matthew McConaughey has a cameo at the end. I think. Yeah. Is it McConaughey? I haven't seen yep. it in a minute. It's, yeah, I only saw it once. So we talked about the opener, the opening of this when they have the fake movie trailers, and it's like Robert Downey Jr. is uh, he's like um, I don't know, he's like some sort of prodigy of sorts, and they just go through like all these ridiculous spoof movies. You guys haven't seen this movie, so I haven't. You no, have? I've, you haven't? I've, seen, I've, I've seen, seen it. Drip, it's it's know. it's not awful. It's not great. I think it's a fine movie. It's fine. People will like to pick, though. I know people fucking... It's popular. It, see, like that movie... Very popular. People love, and I it, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah. I didn't love it either, but PFT, Drop of Thunder. Yeah, I, I love the pick. I think that um, it was laugh out loud funny. The cast was incredible. I still think... All right, so we're a bunch... Of, we're five white guys sitting around talking about whether or not Robert Downey Jr. should have done blackface in the movie, which... I'm sure there will be differing opinions on, but as far as from my point of view, he's doing a, he's playing a character that thought that it would be acceptable to do blackface for a movie. He's I think it's a little bit different. It is. I different, think that there yeah. you have to you have to appreciate the context that was that it was in. I'm not going to argue with anybody that is like, hey, I think it's offensive for X, Y, and Z because maybe some people did take offense to it. I still think that's a very funny concept to have in a movie. Like I don't. I thought it was actually like brilliant when he did it. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. That little spin, yeah, for sure. Well, wasn't he like he was like calling people brother and stuff on like the excursion? They're like, you can't say that, you know. And he's like going yeah. through like the well, yes, I can. And eh, it's good take, uh, good take on your part. Uh, funny, funny movie I love. So. Chief, you're up. Road trip. Ah, you motherfucker. I know. That that hurt me. I know. That hurt me big time. I know. But it's a great movie. So I, I had to look up. I couldn't remember if it was like 99, but it came it's out 2000. in 2000. So Road Trip's great. And that was like, um, fuck you. I don't know if it was the peak or like the, the last bit of Tom Green. But like I, that was more my uh, MTV show than Jackass. Like I love. I thought Tom Green was great when I was like middle school. I couldn't stand him. Um, so I, I liked him in that movie. And I thought the, the premise was great. Love Road Trip. Great movie. Year two thousand. You didn't like Tom Green? No. Really? What about? It, it's just like he tries to make like like sex humor like. No, it fun. got old. It was like yeah, dude. This like, is like cringeworthy. When I, I was in sixth grade, I didn't like the movie either. Really? Really? Not really. No. Voice cracks sir. It's got it's got a couple good songs in it. I love that movie. It's so like just the fact that it's so ridiculous that he just mailed a VHS to. <laughs> So yeah. It was also like the perfect age for me to really like it. Mm -hmm. you know? It's funny because like that came out in 2000. A kid in 2000 might not even know what a VHS is. That was born in 2000. Yeah, probably. I got in trouble when I was younger because I my I was at my grandma's house and I spilled milk all over my mom's old eight tracks from like the 70s or mm -hmm. whatever. And I, I was like, "What the fuck are eight tracks?" Hey, what the Same fuck? like principle here, I guess. Yeah. Um, no, great movie. Amy Smart, I think her name Amy is. Amy Smart, yeah. Yep. Amy Smart, yeah. I think you see her tits in there. And, uh, yeah, you do. You, you certainly do. And uh, what's the fucking guy's name? Josh's name. I'm blanking. Um, Sean William Scott's in it. Like, just so many, like, classic, familiar faces. Are you a road trip guy, PFT? Love road trip, yeah. 
very funny movie. Um, I, I considered putting it in my list, but I feel like that's a movie that it was. It's awesome if you're 15. Yeah. If you rewatch it when you're like 30 or above, for sure. I think it loses some of the luster. I definitely have not seen it since high school. So big. It was a nostalgia pick, but I don't. I feel like it's. It's an movie. awesome movie. It's an awesome movie about road trips if you've never actually been on a road trip. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. And uh, I would – how oh, I lost my train of thought. But, yeah, anyways, road trip. That's my fourth-round pick. Um, all right, in that in that case, I mean, you're going to shit on me, I guess, but I got to do it. I got to take American Pie 2. I mean, just because it's – like, I, I know I won the teen movie draft. and when I, It's a funny movie. It's a comedy. Like, is No that, arguments there. Is that not a – does that not fit? Like him, it, it fits. Him super gluing his hand to him, like you know. No, you know, it's good. Like, I mean, it's a nice lake house, right? Yeah, the, uh -huh. it's, a, it's a summer house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still for the lesbians like and Grand Haven, Michigan, or some. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's just it's it's one of my favorite movies of all time. So Is Stifler still if I didn't cool in that one? Yeah, because in the to, third one they make him out to be the yes. worst person in the world. He's a coach, and he's like, yeah, they don't like him. They don't invite him to uh, the event and whatnot. But in the second one, yeah, he's like, remember, he's trying to bang the lesbians and he like finds out about the house later. They need another guy to throw in the money. Um, America by two is awesome. It's one of my favorite. Movies, Who's not so. in it from the original? Oz. Everyone's in the second one. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You're, you're right. Yeah, you're, right, right. you're guys right. thinking about the yeah. third one. And how does Finch's character mature? What does he do? He, I mean, Finch is, he he's like super into out. like Buddhism and the Karma, Karma, Kama Sutra or Karma Sutra? Uh, tantric. What? Or tan uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he say he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't shoot loads, right? He saves it or what? Yeah, yes, yes, he channels yes. his orgasms Correct. over days. Correct. The Shermanator, he lands Nadia in that yep. one. That's great. Great for him. Um, That's a good success story. Yes, it's a it's, great a, it's a story. excellent sequel. When sequels, especially for comedies, tend to be dog shit. Yes, and I I I, I think the second one somehow is better. Um, uh, I, first one you can't come sure up. yeah I don't it's just for me it's it's just got a special place for me I actually D, I said I DM Shermanator to come on dog walk he, he just denied me he just didn't answer so, did he I saw it I don't I don't know if he saw it but what's sure, he doing he can't come on dog walk I don't for 20 know, minutes sure I need the Shermanator he he's was in a, October Sky he's a key guest very good movie excellent right. I love that movie I saw that in theaters um so yeah I don't know we've discussed it so much too mm -hmm. in other drafts like the teen movie draft and whatnot but uh, I didn't get it there. You stole it on me before, so American Pie Two is my pick. Good uh, pick. PFT, you're up. Okay, I can't believe this one last. Are we going four or five rounds? Five. Five. So you got you got you two got picks. Two. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Good. Um, I can't believe this one lasted uh, as long as it did, unless I just completely spaced on it. But dodgeball. It was it was it was bolded for me. It was still up there, but it's a good pick. Yeah, dodgeball is um, you know it's it, a lot of the same cast that we've had in in some of these other movies. You either fell into the dodgeball camp or the, the anchorman camp when they both came out. I was firmly on team dodgeball. Um, I remember I, I skipped work to go watch it in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. And there's something nice. It's kind of like going to see a a baseball game in the summertime when you're supposed to be on the clock. Mm -hmm. it feels great to just leave work and go to an entire movie, and then come back. Um, I, I, I thought it was very funny start to finish. Um, good story. True, true under story. I love uh, I love Ben Stiller as the antagonist. I thought he did a really good job. Incredible. Yeah. And it was that and Tony Perkins. He was. Yeah. And the fucking it. guy in, in Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. He's a great antagonist. Yeah. Now that I think. Oh, of yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's. Dodgeball. Did you guys sleep on it? Did anyone else forget? It was this? on my list. I, I was con I was considering it for my yeah, next yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a better movie than it is a comedy. Like, I like the story. I like the journey. It's more of a sports movie to me. Mm -hmm. You know, there's triumph and achievement. So yeah, trying to get your. We watched we watched dodgeball in high school. We went and saw the theater. And the ba bunch of kids from the Brother Ice baseball team, and we were leaving the theater and we're like, we should play dodgeball. So we go to Sport Mart, which is now Dick's, and we got a bunch of fucking kickballs. The red ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we went up to Beverly Lawn or something, and it was like, yeah, we'll fucking, yeah, we'll 
couple <laughs> drinks, play some dodgeball. Our center fielder tore his labrum. It was in July. I Jeez. played dodgeball a week yeah. ago today. He like and my lost shoulder a college is scholarship fucking killing me. Or she was supposed to like go. He was like a big player. He like couldn't play for us. It's it's I, not healthy to throw those balls. I threw maybe thirty of them. My arm is fried. I, we could take later. him serious. He's walking around. He's like, I got. I think I gotta go to the hospital. I can't raise my. Arm. We, but we're like, we're just playing dodgeball. Dude, stop being a pussy. I feel bad for kids today who don't get to play dodgeball in class. Is that canceled because it's I, like too? I think it's violent. been canceled you for just like played. ten years. Well, well, that was at a charity. No, thing. Yeah. Dave did. Yeah. I know. I'm talking about kids in like gym. Yeah, class. yeah. I know. What I'm saying like, didn't that guy just get hit in the face? <laughs> that yes, he did. That actually went a little somewhat viral. Did you see that clip? I don't think so. If you saw the clip, it was you'd understand it was my urgency. Kish here. tweeted oh, no. it and Barstool like quote tweeted it. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Kish. I'm just kidding. That's Dave's high school baseball. Coach. Um, I I am not a dodgeball fan in any single way. I think that movie fucking blows. Right, really? So I'll leave it at that. Mm. You think that movie blows? I fucking hated it. The average Joes? I couldn't stand it. Wow. Just Dave, I I had your back on Shrek, man. What's up? <laughs> it's not up. it's not an indictment on you or your yeah, comedy. Um, taste, but I I just there's gonna be a handful of movies that I <laughs> fucking hate that are coming up. I know it. Like I interesting hated dodgeball. Okay. Hated. One thing, one thing I don't like about dodgeball is how it did spurn like an entire movement of adult dodgeball leagues. Those guys are kind of annoying to me sometimes. Oh, I mean, yeah, I I I could agree with that. What about guys who try to throw things as hard as they can all the time? Like, are we talking about a high noon can or what? Choose your words carefully, <laughs> PFT. Like, just say there is a guy in in our podcast studio who who physically craved the adrenaline that comes with giving max effort to to achieve maximum velocity. Um, there's nothing wrong with giving 110 percent as long as you only do that like five percent of the time. So, like once a year. I like to throw something very hard. If I'm at the beach and I've got a, a vortex football, I want to try to throw it 75 yards on the fly. Right. Thank you. You know, but Perfect. just once, like limit those opportunities because more often than not, you're going to look like a fool. <laughs> that's just primal. That's just that's just guys being dudes yeah, right there. Thank just you. Throw things as hard yeah, as far I mean, as you can. It's great. Like spears it, that. lions and shit in the caveman days. Yeah. Um, all right, PFT, lions. you're um, you you could kick us off the final round. Okay, my last one. I'm gonna go with "I Love You, Man." I like I this. It was one a very a lot. funny movie. There's a lot of like very funny parts to it. I like the the whole role playing thing where they're doing the the LARPing as medieval warriors, <laughs> and that yeah. you know who stole that entire movie was the head LARPer guy that that small guy that was uh, what was his name like Thelonious or whatever. Where he's just walking around and talking like he's in the 1500s. Who's that? Like, good morrow. Are we talking oh, about Joe the Drive. same I think, movie? I think. Yeah, we just talked about this with Kate. I think it was. Was, was it, from, it? The, from the Joe draft? I forget, but we were just talking about this guy. A couple John Lee Trulio? Yes, 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 yes. Because yeah. yeah. he's yeah. that guy. Yeah. No, no you're talking name. about I Love You, Man. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, where he's like, ha, keep your sword sharp and your witch sharper. Ha, 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 ha. He like puts on that voice when he's doing the LARPing. Uh, the little kid in that movie is awesome. Again, it's John William Scott. He keeps popping up here. On no, this that's uh, hey, 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 hey. That's yes. enough out of you over there. You yes. whole, that's yes. enough out of everybody. Movie. I was so oh, that's enough out of everybody. No, yeah. His hand's off the chess piece. His hand is off the fucking chess oh, piece. No, the pick PFT. has been made. I knew I was like, I have wait. never seen this before in my life. I don't know if PFT. you're pulling a bit. You're pulling you're, a bit, PFT. No, 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 no. He's time not. Time out. He's taught. He's. He, he picked drafted, one movie, he's describing another. You drafted the wrong Paul Rudd movie. Yes. Yeah. You did. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Because is... he's he's talking about LARPing. I'm like, LARPing was yeah. two yes. Paul Rudd movies? Yeah. What are you talking no. about? You were dra yeah, you drafted the wrong one. You described the wrong movie. So, you, but you get I Love You, Man, on the graphic. But you have yeah, I, I Love I meant to say role models. Too bad. Yes, you meant to say right. <laughs> yes. Dude, I Love You, Man Never is not seen even that a happen. comedy, really. No, it is. No, it, it is. is. It kind of. Yeah, it's, it's Jason like, Segel yeah, no, and Paul Rudd. I Love You, Man's a great movie. I stand yeah. by my pick. Great movie. Slap <laughs> in the face. I've always seen that one, though. I like I Love You, Man, though. That's where he like tries to set him up with a friend. He needs a best man for his wedding. Yeah, he has to no, is your hand still on the piece? It's off. It's off, right? I in, in the interest of integrity, because I kicked your guys' asses so thoroughly in rounds one through four, I'll say that my hand was off the piece, and I'm gonna have to take "I Love You, Man." I that made my chaos. bed in the lion. 
I, I was, was so like, confused. I'm I was like, like the Vikings, yeah. you know, in the draft when they they don't turn their pick in on time. There's nothing <laughs> they can do for it. Let's just move along. That was chaos. I like I love you, man. Though for the record, Good I've man. only seen. I don't think I've ever seen it start to finish. Paul Rudd, he's just such Paul like Rudd's a girls like guy. And fucking, like, he's like, yeah. Man, I made you guys cappuccino. Yeah. I'm like, with you know, it's like, dude, go and yeah. get drunk with your boys. Yeah, you know? it's it's a it's, yeah, a, it's, it's a, a funny movie. I gotta rewatch it. Um, that's tough though. PFT role models tough. Um, all right, it's to me my final pick. I'm gonna stay with what I like to nostalgia, and I think it's super underrated. I gotta go with scary movie too. Um, the fucking guy's hand, the little hand. I stuffed the shit up. Yes, exactly. We're <laughs> it's so one funny. One of the best characters that just like nobody talks about anymore. Mm-hmm. It that the movie wouldn't be good if it weren't for that guy though. He he steals he is the, the show. movie. He, he steals is the, the show movie for sure. But he is unbelievably funny. Unbelievably funny. Yes. The, I, it's been years since I've seen it, but like that's the same guy from uh. Something about Mary, right? That's not yes, too, correct. Yes, uh, Chris Elliott. I, think. I forget yeah, his Chris name, Elliott's but he name. is. Oh my God, he he's he's just beyond funny in that movie. Yeah, yes. like I'm pretty much. Taking I did it with my good hand, my strong hand. <laughs> my yeah, strong exactly. hand. Exactly. <laughs> my germs. He stiffs his hand in the potatoes. <laughs> like that hand bit. Just had, like sometimes you got one pit. I mean, there was other funny things in that movie, but he was by far the funniest. By far and away. Yeah. By far and away. Then that's I'm I'm happy to have Hanson. That was his name in the movie. Um, so yeah, that's that's a personal pick, dude. If probably I'm sure there's a me. best of Hanson on on YouTube or something. If you watched it, you would like be in tears laughing. But even like that opening scene, remember with the priest, the, the, the exorcism, and they're singing ah, "Shake That Ass," "Shake That Ass" by uh, fuck, why am I bugging out? Watch it. So, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, ex- exactly. Exhibit. They're singing that and they're puking all over each other. Yeah. Like it was just so dumb that those movies were funny, and I was also very young, so. I don't know if it'd be as great as an adult. I I probably haven't but seen you like it in scary twelve years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I like the spoof of them um, and scary movies. Is that too. the one where they they spoof uh, um, Varsity Blues too with the coach? Like God damn it! And he just says God damn it every other word when he's like. It might be the first. No, I'm, that might be a different movie completely. I think that's movie that forty three. Not another teen movie. Yeah, oh, you're right. 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 That was on my list, but uh, scary movie too. I don't know if it's gonna hit with many people, but. I'm glad Dave and I could bond Dude, over the, one the hand guy. Dude, the fucking hand guy is just so fucking funny. One of the funny. best little side characters ever. Yep. Agreed. I stuffed the <laughs> shit out of it. I want it. Um, <laughs> Chief, you're up. I think I'm taking an underrated one here, too. Is Along Came Polly. So it's oh, yeah. another Ben Stiller one. Uh, Jennifer Anderson, Philip Seymour Hoffman, I would say, is like the runaway best character in that movie. He's hilarious. So making it rain, making it rain, where he's all fucking like the other big fucking sweaty guy, and he's just like this, fa- you know, not f- like failed child actor who just like can't get out of the past. Yeah. That Philip Seymour Hoffman character, I think, is so funny. Uh, and I just, yeah, I just think it's a it's a really good movie, very underrated. I feel like it still is like gets on TV every once in a while, and I'll stop on it. So I, I think Along Came Polly is great, and I I actually like through this draft. Realize how much I like Ben Stiller because he's in like oh, so oh, much. it's great. like I like forget him about him you know like yeah. you forget about him, him. and he, his dad are like comedians. oh his forever. dad is mm-hmm. his dad's great Jerry Ben Stiller. Stiller's great yeah um, so yeah along came Polly was he in truck that's like a perfect know. fifth round pick for this draft yeah I feel. um yeah but Philip Seymour Hoffman was awesome uh Carl you're up yeah I raw dog this draft I didn't come in here with any research or whatever I knew I had a five I wanted to pick I had them each in specific rounds and uh I'm not going to take role models even though it was my fifth round pick here I just we've already talked about it PFT covered it I'm going to go to the sixth round pick that I have here it's a classic fellas we're gonna go north of the border I'm going to fuck around with some people who spent a lot of time on what was it the, the the Canadian version of Saturday Night Live I'm taking best in show Best in show. Good haven't pick. seen it still. Uh, a mockumentary of sorts. Kind movie. of like a mockumentary, but like kind of fake. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but uh, it's we were just, just a talking phenomenal about this a few weeks ago. movie. So never good. seen it, yeah. I've never so seen it. So good. And as a dog guy, um, you know. I looked it up after we, because we, we threw it on TV kind of like yeah. six weeks or two months ago, maybe. I thought Dante was like, it's a homework assignment. We all watch the movie or something. Or maybe I did Big, not, no, I thought it was Big Cat. It was Big Cat. Yeah, he was like, you guys got to watch that. Yeah, but yeah. it's, uh, I like, I like looked it up and it's got like crazy good reviews. I just have never seen it. Yeah, we got to watch it though. Very good movie. Best in show. 
All right, White Sox, Dave, Mr. Irrelevant. So I was going to take this with my third-round pick, and then I'm like, there is no way anybody's fucking even thinking about drafting it, and I don't care what this does to the graphic or otherwise. Can I guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. Have you taken it before? I don't think so. Okay, then never mind. Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story oh, is one of the I mean. fucking funniest movies I've ever seen. And I have tweeted this for years and years and years. And remember Mo out in Philly, old Barstool guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a bit complex now. Him and I have gone back and forth. He's I think like, he's dude. He's complex, but. Well, so, whatever. Yeah. Um, he, like, him and I have gone to the grave. Nobody has really seen it. It's John C. Riley. It's a spoof movie of Johnny Cash in Walk the Line. It is outstanding. Outstanding movie. And I'm not just saying that because it's like me on the draft and I'm trying to win votes or anything like fucking vote me off. I don't give a shit. This movie is fucking hilarious. One of the funniest movies I've ever seen. And I, I'm hoping I PFT will see it because you'd appreciate it, I think. I agree. I love that movie. It's great when when Tim Meadows keeps the recurring bit of John C. Riley walking the drugs. into a room. You don't want none of this doing shit, Dewey. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, Tim Meadows explaining why you shouldn't do cocaine, being like you don't want any part of this shit. It, it turns all, all your bad, bad feelings, feelings into good it feelings. Turns them into good feelings. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Like, no, I don't. No, I don't want to get fat. No, it makes you skinny, like that sort of thing. <laughs> well, um, does it give you then, a hangover? He's like, it gets rid of hangover. It's it's yeah. one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, and nobody's yeah. like nobody's I seen guess it. I gotta watch it then. And just trust me. It's all one right, of those just I'll trust me it. moments. I'll watch and it. And it's quick too. It's I'll you trust know, you. Cheap. I'll trust you. All right, I'll name them off. We'll do some honorable mention. We'll get out of here. PFT, Super Bad, Barrett. Did I say that right? Borat. Um, Bo Rat. Bo Rat. Uh, Jackass, the movie, Dodgeball, I Love You, Man, Eddie, The Hangover, Meet the Parents, Knocked Up, American Pie 2, Scary Movie 2, Chief, Old School, Anchorman, Mean Girls, Road Trip, Along Came Polly, Carl, Wedding Crashers, Step Brothers, Zoolander, Tropic Thunder, Best in Show, White Sox, Dave, Shrek, 40-Year-Old Virgin, forget, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Super Troopers, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story. Dave, you might be getting a phone call this week. From who? The council, you think so? That's your prediction? If I do, you're a fucking idiot. And, but if it's because of Walk Hard, I'll take it because not a lot of people have seen it and they just don't know. Mm -hmm. But if it's because of Shrek, like you're a fucking crazy person. You're a fucking crazy person. I'm so, that's, the, that's what we're all interested in, right? To see how Shrek goes over with the audience. Yeah, yeah. I would say your middle that. three rounds were very strong, though, Dave. I agree. If if you guys had seen Walk Hard, you'd be like home run. I have home it. run. I, have I know. It. I knew no one, none of no none of you guys at least. I've seen heard it. you talk about it though. Can I tell you who you thought you were gonna take? Who? Yeah, Joe Dirt. Was it? Oh man, I thought that uh, was nineties. No, no. I would have guessed. I would have guessed nineties, and I was lost my fucking computer, so I was scrambling a little bit. But Joe Dirt's a. I love that movie, even though it's bad objectively. It's something's wrong with your computer. Yeah, it's it's. Cooked. I think it's done. You put it on the floor. That's Any other honorable mentions? <laughs> uh, I get a couple. Okay. Let's hear them. PFT. Napoleon Dynamite. That movie sucked. Yeah. Fucking uh, terrible movie. Disagree. I like Napoleon Dynamite. Very funny. Um, Saving Silverman was a big miss. That's a good one. Coach. A great coach in that. I got that yeah. online. Yep. Sarah, Sarah Jim was too typecast for me. Yeah. I couldn't look at it the same. Oh, really? Yeah. I had uh, Team America World Police. I was thinking here. of that yeah, one, on but I list. didn't want to get the Shrek treatment because I thought Wait, I would have. It's it just take Shrek in the fourth round, Dave. It's that's all you had to do. The I best movie that was drafted yeah. today. I don't know if this is a comedy necessarily, but I appreciate I, the hill you're dying. It's on. a great, it's a great movie, and it's another Ben Stiller movie. It's Night at the Museum. I think that should have been doesn't really fit into like this no category. Way. Yeah, that's like a kids movie. It's tough. Man. I've heard. They, it's, but if you were taking Shrek, then you could take that. There's like dick yeah, but jokes it's and shit. More candy ass. Yeah. Night of the Museum is great. Well, I mean, you like it because here comes Teddy Roosevelt. I do like he's it. He's all <laughs> cavalier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it's like Jumanji. Fuck? It has like some Jumanji vibes to it. Like well, it's, it's, it's. I think it's a good movie. movie. What? It's an adventure movie. Yeah, I guess it's more like a like national treasure. Seen. That's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's As not just our in the fucking... Category, he said it's Carl. an adventure, and I agree it's an adventure, and I agree national treasure is an adventure, but if we're going to start That's putting national saying. treasure and night and museum in the same conversation, then we're, we got to ju You just said they're in the same category. But they're, they're both No, they're the same. It's the same, like, theme. Yeah, okay, fine. How about this? Right. Dave brought up 1984, Green Eggs and Ham. They're both books. 
that's you're now you're being stupid. No, I'm not. I'm telling you're you that like it's the, you sa- sound it's the same stupid. delivery platform. It's an adventure movie. It's an yeah, adventure they're, make they're my in mom's an adventure green movie. Guy in my eggs because I okay. love green eggs. And that's it. So National Treasure is a home run. It's a great movie. I love National Treasure. We talked about it like yesterday. What about Zombie Land? Never saw it. That's on this list that I got pulled up. That's a it's a great movie. I've but got a bunch. I've got a bunch. Okay. I've got a bunch. Eddie, Unless of PFT, are you done? Sorry. I don't know if you had more. Yeah, role models was was a big yeah. one that we left off. <laughs> um, Very I've <laughs> funny movie. <laughs> that is a good one. Uh Bedazzled with Brennan Fraser was really enjoyable though. That's with the chick, right? What's her name? With Elizabeth Hurley. Elizabeth yeah. Hurley. The yeah. Devil. Yeah. That was that was a good two thousands. Uh Little oh, Nicky, me, myself, and Irene, Dude, ready that's to rumble. More of like That's more of a horny movie than a... What, Bedazzled? Yeah. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Oh, little I mean, Nicky I saw in theaters, the and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. With the fucking guy that walked around with the boob tassels yeah, yeah, on yeah, his yeah, head. Yeah, 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 Ready to rumble. I mean, uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Not another teen movie. Oh, dude. On that note, PFT, the fucking guy. Have you seen Revenge of the Nerds? Please say yes. That's a movie yeah. that cannot get made tomorrow at all. It the is one of the most. If you go back and watch it, it's Were literally you like the re- every five you know minutes that? is like the most. You weren't here. You thing. were at U of I, dude. Yeah. The so ru- the, dude. the writer walked in the, the office. So some guy yeah, from Highland Park. Yeah, the guy. So some guy's banging on the door, and I go to answer. I thought he was making a delivery, and he's like, "Hey, I'm looking for a couple of actors," and I'm like, "This guy's a kook. He's like, like this is good stool streams material." He comes in, makes himself at home in the oh dog walk <laughs> hold on, studio. Hold on to correct him. Sound. Stool scenes. It's Stool on. Scenes. It's on. It's, it's yeah. Go watch it. And he he's he, like, did he make it? Did he make this? Thing? Yeah, this is okay. a part of it. Oh, he's in it. He's in it. So go watch Stool Scenes. Yeah, this it'll, whole, it'll make sense. Yeah. it'll make sense. And the, he's like, yeah, I wrote Revenge of the Nerds, sense. and I was like, Whoa. it's funny, very funny. What? She walked in, runs to the Nerds guy. It was, it was funny. Oh yeah, guy's making a killing. Uh, Mr. Deeds, School Man. of Rock. I like Mr. Deeds. Stealing School Harvard. Rock. If any of you assholes would have drafted Elf, I would have lost my mind. Legally Blonde. I love School of Rock. Bad Santa, Dave. I, that should have been a first rounder. How did you know? American Instead of Wedding, Shrek? yeah. Can I give you another very underrated one? Rat Race. Have you ever seen a Rat happened. Race? I haven't seen it. I love yet. Rat Race. Mr. Bean. Uh, <laughs> God, I like Mr. Bean. And then, hey, can we say The Ringer? The Ringer was very funny with John. Um, with John oh. From from what I understand, um, the Ringer was movie, very funny. So it's I where the guy it. pretends to be handicapped to participate in the Special Correct. Olympics, right? Yeah, the girl. But from what I understand, um, like those in the the mentally challenged community, like really like the movie because it like shined light on on them and like they're in the spotlight. Blah blah blah. That's good to know then. If that's yeah, true. I've, that's I've, I've, I remember reading that. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Grandma's Boy. Oh, good that, that was good. a cult classic, yeah, yes, for that sure. One? That's really, that's really good. That was like straight to DVD, I'm pretty sure, that, and then people loved it after that. Yeah, it was like word of mouth because it was a Happy Madison movie. It might have been one of the first Happy Madison movies that didn't have Adam Sandler, and he just said, "Okay, the rest of my crew, go out and make a movie, see how it does." And it was fucking awesome. It was Alan Covert. The, the opening yeah. scene where the guy like comes on the other guy's mom by mistake. That's very funny. <laughs> Uh, Good bad guy too. Uh, Harold and Kumar go to yep. White Castle. Girl next door. Oh, uh, eh, is that a comedy? Trip. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, it is. But Fifty First Dates, I like Record Scratch, Freedom Race, The Breakup. Ooh, I liked Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar was a good one. That's, that was uh, good. That's all I got. All time, I, I like it. Like high high stakes, low stakes movie. The entire movie is about them just trying to get some fucking burgers. It's great. The hardest I've laughed at a comedy in recent years is Goon. Mm. I know. I just love Sean William Scott. I yeah, just, I like, love that one. He's, he's just, great. Was it not hockey? You know, like, will you watch him be like, the gameplay is not realistic? I just didn't think it was that funny. Mm. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, I like golf, but I, I'm not like criticizing the Happy Gilmore. I just think, I just didn't think that movie was that great. Fun story about Goon. I don't know if any of you guys are Warren Zevon fans, but the plot of that movie uh, was based ooh, on a war- Z- Werewolves of London called Hit Somebody. Wait, sorry. One more time. I was distracted by Dave. What are you doing? What was it? Oh, he said Warren Zevon. Oh. No, it's saying yeah, Warren Zevon, the guy that Werewolves the guy London. that wrote and sang Werewolves of London. He he wrote a song called "Hit Somebody" mm-hmm. about a goon that wanted to be able to like score and wanted to be like mm. a an actual good hockey player. Made it all the way up because he's just really good at fighting. That's what this movie was based on. Really, that's a fun fact. That is a fun fact. Yeah. Um. 
All right, then. Uh, PFT, thank you very much for hopping on and spending two hours with us. Was that two hours? Thank you, guys. I'm fuck. kicking myself right Holy now over, fuck. The models, over the debacle. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to sing. It's going to be interesting because I think we all have one that's like uh, like people might not like as much, right? I don't yeah, know. if I had taken Saving Silverman in my last last round, I think I think that would have looked pretty good on, on the graphic. I thought she up, was like you know the what? hottest girl on earth. What's her? Amanda Peet? Was that her name? Maybe. She's in like an early episode of Seinfeld, and it's just like, holy shit. Man. Like <laughs> Amanda Peet was great. Awesome. Well, thank you, PFT. We appreciate it. Good to have you back. Thank you, guys. Anytime. And now the world will wait to hear about Shrek fifth overall to see what the reaction You guys is. are fucking wild. Like, what? How do you, <laughs> I, I, I know. We well, talked. You said the world will wait. Well, we don't know. Wait, it's dude. anticipation. See if you're, if you're I feel ready. Like I'm or... getting trolled right now. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll see you then.